Okay, and here we are. We are all recording. Welcome back, everybody. We're gonna be doing some more Emerald Rogue. Just had a little bit of setting up here. So let me just go ahead and show you guys this again. We got Litten, and we also have Rallet. We're gonna be doing doubles, but we also have to set the, uh, the Dex mode to Gen 7. Otherwise, it won't let these Pokemon evolve if I go in, so... Maybe I'll try the Johto thing with something else later. Anyways, this thing has its hidden ability, Intimidate here. Careful nature, because people recommended that I try that one. And I gave it the egg moves for Fake Out and Crunch. And Rallet is just kind of Rallet. He's our doubles partner. He's got adamant nature. But Long Reach as a hidden ability apparently isn't very good. And I gave you the Eviolite. And I gave you Bright Powder. I bought a few items to start, like leftovers, the vest, and yeah, these things right here. And I also realized you can buy a Master Ball as part of your base equipment, which I should really do because there's been too many situations where I absolutely need to catch the Legendary and the run just dies because I can't, so... I've been hoarding the starting money for so long and I barely like spent a dent of it just getting those stuff. Anyways, we're all set up. We understand what we need to do. Let's get in. Yeah, we're between playthroughs, so I thought it'd be a good time to do some of this. Excellent. No, there's no Hisuian forms in this. We are not gonna be going to Mr. Random. Hang on, Calm Breezy Route. Calm Magical Route. Fierce Route. Sharp Route. Magical Route is... Psychic. But if I take this, I can go to Nurse Joy. Um, I'll take the magical route. Let's do that. Ice path, not bad. Obviously, the Eviolite is just something to put on Litten for now. I figured keep carrying around an Eviolite would be a good idea for random Pokemon to catch, so I just kept it in the inventory. I don't remember if wild battles are doubles as well. Yeah, hang on a second. Streamer needs to remember how to do this part again. Okay. Don't recognize that cry. Hold up a sec. There we go. Black and White 3 is still going on. It's just mainly through the last month we did the uh, spooky Pokemon playthroughs and those were a lot of fun. If you missed those on the channel, I definitely recommend them. Pokemon Dusk, Dawn, Nightfall. The like, the fan game about the zombie apocalypse. Oh my goodness, we got Teddy's. It was meant to be. It was meant to be, chat. Hang on. Um... I, I should save the quick balls for a little bit later. Hang on. Maybe a single fake out would be okay. You know, just throw it. Polar bear. Oh, that's right. I did bump into, uh, when I was testing this, I had a single battle with, uh, the Magnemite before I realized that, uh, I had to change the settings or they wouldn't evolve. Whoops. Its nose is always running. Their snot is a barometer of health. When healthy, their snot is sticky, and the power of their ice moves increases. Teddy Bear has been acquired. I'm already using Bear Tick in, uh, Black and White 3, so now we got another one. Maybe I'll do some more Pokemon Stadium soon, too. Or between playthroughs. Excellent. Some of the plans, as many of you know, got a bit delayed with, like, doing the egg lock. Because, uh, some of the mods making stuff have their, uh, their laptop busted. And they physically can't really do much at the moment. Sticky Bear. Now, I should make sure I get my levels before I move on. It's important to catch as much as we can as well. The bear snot is eco-friendly hair gel. I don't think I would refer to it as that. I used to have this entire section memor memorized and now I just don't. Hang on. How's this go again? Maybe he'll figure it out. Hang on a second. Goes like that, and from there... Okay, I think it's all about the starting position, wasn't it? Or I just do that, never mind. 
Yo, where's the Pokemon at? Where's the Pokemon at? Shrew? We don't need no shrews. Intimidate is such a good ability, especially for double trainer battles. Give me a little burn. Lick? We don't need that. No kisses allowed. Rowlet learned Peck. Good for the hoot. Gupchu learned Powder Snow. Learned Bide. No one is ever going to use Bide. I am willing to bet that there is no, like, meta strategy that's ever been done with Bide. It's terrible, right? Or maybe there is something stupid you can do with it. Come on. Times like this, I wish I had Sweet Scent. Teddy Ursa can learn that, can it? Well, we don't have the bear. We did a run with the bear last time. Unfortunately, I had some bad luck towards the end, and it's so easy to ruin everything, ain't it? Cutie fly. Okay. Not sure about that one. Get rid of it. I want to make sure my levels are topped up. Oopsie. This time, I'm trying to be more prepared. The last big good run I did was when I just used Dracovish with only Kanto trainers. Which is hilarious because Dracovish doesn't need to evolve, so you can just take it right in there with no punishment. But if you take in Litten without changing it back to Gen 7, for the maximum amount of gens, like, it just won't let it evolve. Here we go. Excellent, excellent. Still feeling sick? Yeah, you mentioned you got the big sick today. Make sure you get some soup. Whatever delicious goodies you need. It's gonna hit you like a truck the next day, sadly. Okay. We can go ahead and catch a golet. Hang on. Bide was removed in Gen 8, and no one was upset. Yeah? I can feel, I can feel that. Let's go. Perfect. I had it last year, too. It was terrible. I was in bed for like a full week, and the entire time I just wanted to stream, and I felt so bad. There we go. Bo -bo -bo. We got two Pokemon. Come on, we want a little bit more though. I'd be out of this first area a little bit faster. Okay, you got Disguise. I might be able to use you a little bit, but... Go, go, go. It's Pikachu. It's Pikachu from Wish.com. It got shipped in a box, and there were no air holes in the box. Uh, this is getting dark. I need to stop. Hides its terrifying appearance. Okay. This should be fine. Let's just go. Next route, average warm route. Well, I already have fire type. This is Mount Moon. The downside of bringing in more extra items is the bag is going to fill up so quickly. There's four Pokemon to be caught here. Excellent. Dire hits. I gotta sell those at the next stop. I'm never gonna use them. Oh! You know what? Mmm, you know, I could save up... I use those rare candies in the later battles anyway, right? I could just kind of get myself Dragonite pretty easily when the time comes, even if the level cap's a little bit below. We'll grab that for now. Dratini is a lad. Dratini continually molts and sloths off its old skin. It does so because the life energy within its body steadily builds to reach uncontrollable un levels. Baby Moomin Dragon has uncontrollable power. Now I've got six Pokemon. How does Disguise work again? Right, it's basically just a free hit. Nature is neutral. Neutral. Oh, neutral. And Brave. Wait, no, Brave is perfect. Bear Tick is slow as hell. Oh, damn, that's actually a decent Cub Chew. Okay. A lot of neutral natures going on. 
Now let's actually KO some Pokemon for stuff. Razor Fangs. Okay. Something. Currently, Litten has Eviolite and Rowlet has Bright Powder. Ooh. Um, no, I think doubling up on dragons would be a little too risky. Rock Dragon has a lot of weaknesses. I'm not so sure I want to do that in doubles unless I can guarantee, like, unless I'm guaranteed to have a partner that can, like, help, right? I actually like the Gen 6 fossils a lot, but they kind of just, like, got forgotten about after Gen 6. I remember, like, the first time I played Y version. Hang on. We're gonna scratch. First time I played Y version, I used Tyrant, and it's, um, Evolution. I forget its name. Tyrantrum, right? And I named it Dr. Hugs. I don't know why, but it was a fitting name. Razor Leaf. Oh boy, Razor Miss. Play nice. Teddy wants to play nice. Heck yeah, he can. Excellent. Roll it once, roll out. I mean, it's better than Pound, I guess. It's been so long since those games came out, though. X and Y are over 10 years old. My goodness. I'm getting so old. Copycat. Ah, I don't need baby doll eyes, then. Shadow Sneak. I guess it's better than Astonish. Dratini learned Twister. I'm pretty sure you can pick the target for, um... Oh! Early Dragon Rage, bro! Bro, I'll take that. Hold up. If we're playing by Gen 8 rules, what... Has Dragon Rage been updated at any point? Let's find out. 40 damage, okay. Yeah. Maybe I should put Dratini as the second Pokemon at the first gym fight. Give it the Bright Powder instead of Rallet. If I get... Wait, no. Because we're set to Gen 7... No, wait a second, actually. Gen 7 Pokemon can appear, but we're still set to Johto Trainers. I don't think I changed that. Oh. I mean, the game only has, um... Gens 1, 2, and 3 for Trainers and Elite 4 members, anyway. Oh well, that's fine. If I get Price, it might be a problem. No, Claire could be a problem. There's no Fairy-type Trainer, obviously. Unless they make Whitney count as that, as an honorary one. i go ahead and fight you. Double battle. Let's battle. Anyways, I'm glad you guys still like this playthrough. Bears! We kind of just do stream this game once in a blue moon, but it's nice. Hang on. Fake out the bear. And then razor leaf them. Actually, you know what? Fake out the Shatot and Razor Leaf them. Hmm. They'll spread the power. But chance of crit? Whatever. I'm gonna do it. So many teddies today. This bear cannot be caught, I'm afraid. No one else can gain any levels on the team. All I got was a meager amount of money. Check for items. There we go. Oh, uh, damn it. I mashed the button. I didn't see what I picked up. Oh, hey, it's Rotom Oven. That is a Pokemon, I guess. You know what I just realized? Do you know why I wasn't getting a lot, a lot of encounters in the Ice Path? Because my lead Pokemon has Intimidate. Bro, I didn't even think about that because usually it never freaking does anything. Special attacks... What was it? Three Razor Claws? Okay. Critical hit ratio. Can do that. If the setting is on, trainer battles are what gives EVs. I can't even remember my own settings now. You say it. Let's do it. Anyways, yeah. A couple of people were telling me they have been b binging this series and have been waiting for more. I'll be happy to oblige for now. I always appreciate that you guys always enjoy... Yeah, always enjoy the playthroughs. 
There we go. Kind of been feeling like crap the past, like, four nights in a row, so... I've basically been- didn't feel like uh, doing anything that required a lot of dialogue reading today. I just wanted to chill and relax. Maybe more Little Goody Two-Shoes tomorrow, because I was super into that game, but I don't want to play it when I'm tired and not in the mood to read, of course. So I could take a shop, or a battle prep stop. I already have my battle prep items on, to be honest, so... Let's just do a regular Mart. Mr. Random's there. Hang on. Hang on! Chat? I'm feeling the Mimikyu. I want to trade the Mimikyu and get something funny. Hang on. Well, hey! Look at that bit of randomness to your life. Tell you what. 1,000, I'll trade you. Oh, I don't have enough money. Unless I sell stuff. Hang on. Hang on. Where's the special attacks? And the dire hits. Mild mint. Hasty mint. Usually you never want the mints that lower defenses at all. So I'll just ditch one of those to make space. Oh, that's a bad one. If I trade it and get Caterpie, you'll cry. Good! More content. Trade one. Okay, Mimikyu. Goodbye. Off he goes. Okay. Now, as you all know, I have very realistic expectations when I do this, so let's go Mewtwo! Wow, that is not a Mewtwo. You stand far back and maybe squint your eyes, the sprite might look like one. It wasn't a Caterpie, but I have to admit, you were close. <laughs> it is completely random, right? Is there, like, a karma system just to do that sometimes? And I need a rare candy to evolve it. Well, I'm not gonna do that. Because I always seem to get crap, uh, crap stuff when that happens. TM shop, what do you got? Okay. Don't know if I really need those at the moment. What about Steel Wing, actually? Would Steel Wing be a good option for Rallet? Steel Wing always misses, though, doesn't it? Could be coverage for... I mean, I don't want it to fight Ice types anyway. Ah, I'll buy it. I mean, you never know. Could use it against Fairy types when they come up. Okay, Steel Wing's got 70-90. Goodbye, Tackle. Alrighty. Maybe buy a couple potions? This is the Pokeball Shop. I'll buy eight more of these for now. If I see price, I'm not gonna be using a Grass Flying, no. Give me a couple potions here. Hello, friend. Welcome. Boopity boop. Hang on. How many potions did I start with? I have six. Make sure we top up a litten, <clears throat> litten here. Now the question is, do I want to give any items to these guys? You know what I could do, actually? I could put... I could put my, um, choice scarf on Dratini just so it can always get in and hit with, uh, Dragon Rage. If it needs to come out and do that, bro, it's gonna come out and slaughter. Let's be real. Hang on, where is it? Where is it? Choice Scarf. Does Cub Chew learn Waterfall? Uh, let's find out if it does. Dratini can. Hang on. Does Dratini have better special or something? Because I may maybe should give it something. Maybe I should give it that in case we have to deal with, like, a fire-type user. No, Dragon Rage would do more damage. Let's be real. It's the first gym leader fight. Dragon Rage is going to slaughter anything that, that shows up. The question is, do I want to lead with Rallet or do I want to lead with Dratini and Litten? I 
I say we go with these boys. It's a mighty trainer. And is everyone the high level? 15. I don't want to risk my items putting them on the fodder Pokemon, so... Okay. This is it. Let's do it. First gym leader, let's go. It's Price. Are you serious? You know what? Better we get him out of the way now. Okay. Okay, Intimidate lowers their attack power. Hmm. Hmm. Now here's the question. Does Amora have, um, good HP? Do I want to use the Fake Out and Dragon Rage on it to make sure it dies? Or would it be safe to just Fake Out the Snow Runs and then Dratini can just completely kill the dino. I don't know enough about my base HP values to be confident about that. Usually, I'm, I've not really been in a position to use Dragon Rage this way. Hmm. Hang on. Currently, Litten has 40 HP and Dratini has 30 at this level. By the way, if you didn't know this, this applies to all Gen 3 games and double battles. You can press start to see your HP value. Yeah, I bet that blows your mind, doesn't it? No one knows about this. It's got decent HP. I know it's Ice Rock. It might live a Dragon Rage if Litten's got 40. Hmm. I should be okay. It's turn one. I have the Eviolite. So you know what we'll do? We'll fake out the Snow Runt, and we'll Dragon Rage you. Nice. Yeah, it lived. It's going for Thunder Wave, really? Okay. No problem. That's the case. We'll switch you out. Hmm. Ice Bear would be a good switch in, actually, because it can tank whatever they do. Now then, it's probably best I get rid of you, so we'll just keep spamming Dragon Rage. Well, obviously I have to, because I have the Scarf. Okay, Icy Wind. That hits both of us, so the power's divided. Tiny Bear is okay. Oh! Not what I want to see. Baby Spiel! Okay. Hmm. That won't really do a whole lot. Do I Icy Wind them both? <laughs> no. Teddy- I could just use Cup Chew's turn to heal Dratini. There we go. And let's guarantee kill one of them. There's only three Pokemon, so we're fine. Roll out! Okay, then. I got an idea. I'll switch back to Litten, so Intimidate procs to make you even weaker. And we'll Dragon Rage you. Even if you survive, it's no big deal. God, now I think about it, it's been almost a year since I started playing these, didn't I? And I switched in, so Fake Out works again. Not that it really matters. Okay, Price out of the way first isn't too bad, but man. He only had three Pokemon. First badge acquired. Okay, Average Mighty Route, Average Magical Route, Corrosive Route. Confusing Route. There's no full rest stop, or if there is behind them, I'm not going to be able to see it. I'm going to take this. Repeat balls. Let's go ahead. Um, I should be able to still use Dratini up front for now. Let's go. Excellent. Oh, hey, Lapras. I used you, have used you in so many runs now, it's not even funny. Maybe 
maybe I should check my surfing encounters too. Let's go have a look over here. Let's battle. Let's do it. Heck yeah. Level eight and six, you're supposed to be the tough one. So it's pretty much a guarantee that they're gonna die to Dragon Rage, let's be real. Double kick? Um, I suppose I don't need Ember. My special attack is my bad, um, bad one of my nature anyway. If I catch Pokemon and lose, it can define in the wild again. If you mean the same species, yeah, of course you can. Roar. I don't think I want that. Let's see, Cub Chew wants Fury Swipes. Iron Defense. Nah, you don't need that, bro. Ominous Winds. I mean, like... No. You're an adamant nature Pokemon, so... Foresight? No. Just double kick because the accuracy. Finish it off now. Well fought. 220. Oh, nice. Remember, remind me to take the Eviolite off when I get to Incineroar because I'm going to forget. It hisses. Now we got Cat. Oh, yeah. Forgot about that. I hope you're all nice and comfy watching. I appreciate whether you're watching this live now or I've just been marathoning the playlist in the future. We're all good teddies here. I'm going to trade this to Mr. Random again. Hoot. Excellent. Shoutouts to the lurkers. Even if you just watch everything on YouTube, that's fine. Let's see... Hold up. On rare occasions, people have used Toracat over Incineroar because Toracat is a lot faster. Really? Now we got Dartrix. I was gonna say something, and then I went and forgot. There we go. Oh yeah, I probably should use up those feathers soon. I'm kind of just pressing for equipment and stuff right now. Yeah, it's no problem. Shalor Sables. Honestly, I'll fight you too. When they need a fast Will-O-Whisper and with Fake Out, they use Toracat. Because Arcanine doesn't get Fake Out. Ah. See, I don't I can't keep up with competitive Pokemon stuff at all. It's fun to play like po games like this in Pokemon Stadium. Because it like it, it kinda like lets me, you know, learn a little bit about it without having to worry about fighting, like, a human opponent that's way smarter than me. So it's more fun to do stuff like this. Now, you faked out me. That's annoying. So we'll Dragon Rage you. And Kaizo. Listen, Kaizo isn't a, isn't a competitive mod. Kaizo is a tear out your hair and die early mod. Roar. Now, I don't want Roar. I want U-Turn, right? That's what you want to do. So you can keep coming back in and use Intimidate and fake out. Slam. Cupchu wants brine. He's got the sniffles. I need to get a Cupchu plushie. There we go. Stomping tantrum. Better than mud slap. There we go. Foresight. Yeah, I hear it here in particular. People aren't the biggest fans of the meta for Scarlet and Violet. There we go, so... Another reason I guess I also couldn't really get into that. Timer balls. Max repels. Excellent. Whoopsie. Only thing I might have a slight interest in getting in competitive, like, IRL competitive for Pokemon might just be, like, Pokemon cards, but I don't even have, like, a lo locals I could attend or anything. Mostly just a, a buddy that wants to play with me. Hang on. 
Speaking of Pokemon cards, I did actually get some packs of the newest set. The ones where they finally made cards of the Paradox Pokemon. I got a brand new binder to start sorting them too. For those that don't know, I try to collect all the cards and put them in a binder in numbered order. It's very fun. Slowpoke is a friend. Own Tempo. Wait, what? Oh, Intimidate doesn't work on Own Tempo, right. Forgot about that. Bite! I already got Crunch, bro. Excellent. I'm trying to make this a comfy weekend. I mentioned feeling like crap several days in a row. I was not doing very well. Hang on. 35, 60. Okay, Pluck's better. Pluck is just upgraded Peck. There we go. Let me pick this up here. This is the Lake of Rage, by the way. And I want to go fight that trainer there now. Oh, hey, another Chitini. And, uh... Crap, what was I trying to say? I wanted to kind of do some fun stuff for myself this weekend. Streaming's always fun, but I don't want to burn myself out trying to just cram in two eight-hour streams. And I mentioned hitting the gym before starting, and I feel pretty good, other than my arms feeling like jelly. Silver Wind, Yeah, sure, why not? I was thinking, like, after today's stream, I would play some stuff for myself and kind of relax for a bit. I picked up that game Lies of P I hear people t uh, talking about. Now, when that game came out, I remember people were saying that it was super short, but then I look online and I hear people saying that it's, uh, it's like 30 hours casually. And that seems about, like, the expected length for, like, a Souls-like game to me, unless I'm mistaken. Okay, well, Dragon Rage, the bunny, to fake out the Smeargle. I don't know. Have any of you guys played it? It looked neat to me, so I kind of wanted to just jump into something gothic and spooky. Is it Lies of P or Lies of Pi? I don't know. There we go. <laughs> I don't know at all. 30 hours sounds short to me. Eh, I don't know. 30 hours. If it's something that's more than 24 hours long, I feel like it's not that short of a game. I don't think Dark Souls 1 or Bloodborne took me that long. On my first playthroughs, I mean. Where are you? Let's go, go, go. Chad is arguing now. Is it Lies of P or Lies of Pi? Bro, I thought it was just a P, not a Pi symbol. I don't even know now. Okay, Dragon Rage you. I'm gonna use all these up. Lies of Peanut Brittle. Okay, I'll take your word for it. It sounds true, so it must be. Take him out. Quick attack, how dare you. Double kick. Lies of PP up. Oh well. Sometimes it's fun to just jump into a random game and enjoy it. I don't know about playing, like, Souls-like games for the first time on stream anymore. Like, it, I feel like I enjoy streaming those games a lot more if I'm familiar with them first. Excellent. Because those games can very easily also devolve into backseating. Kind of the same deal with, like, playing Mega Man. Like, you try and play a Mega Man game for the first time on stream, everybody keeps spoiling the weakness order when you're trying to experiment. And it just feels better to, like, get the, the boss patterns down and just do it on stream impressively. I definitely enjoyed Mega Man 4 stream as a stream after practicing myself. Let's go. Lies of Pineapple. Lies of Picaspri. Whoa! It's Drampa! Okay, Drampa's probably got more HP, so we'll go ahead and fake out you. I'm running out of Dragon Rages, but that's okay. I probably picked up some Lipa Berries somewhere. Oh. Okay. It used Glare. 
This is fine. Just can finish you off, and we're gonna finish you off. It's protecting, of course it is. Dude. No. No, 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 no. This is bad. Shed skin. Just gonna have to go for it. Oh, nice. Torakat got him. I was really worried. That was a little rough. Can't believe that happened. Now, is there a rest stop coming up? I guess we're gonna find out. There's more trainers I could, could fight. But I don't think I should fight them now. I should just move on. Yeah, guess we'll just have to heal it with some normal stuff. Let's do that now. First, we'll use what we got. Um, oh, no medicine pocket. That's right. Hang on. I've got one Lepa Berry. I'm going to use that on Dragon Rage, because we need to do that. Petcha Cherry Berry. That's right. Excellent. Hmm. Uh, Chesto is what wakes them up, right? How many Orin Berries I have? I may as well just use this to heal the minor amount of damage to uh, Torakat and use a regular potion for you, because these are going to be useless very shortly. I still have a beautiful eye. It can maybe do something. Check the TM, dude. That's General Shop. Water po- Oh, Psychic! Um, I feel like Psychic's not a bad TM to just kind of carry around. Shadow Ball won't be needed for um, Decidueye because I'm a physical attacker. Calm Mind Spam? Not sure about that. Excellent. I'll buy a couple Super Potions for the road. Don't really need Repels. I feel like I should also sell some excess items, too. There's no reason to hang on to the star piece. If I lose a battle, the, ra the run is over. I'm just trying to make sure I can pick up items later. Rash Mint. Just ditch some of these. The mints clog things up easily. And they're bad mints if they lower defense. Right, can use these up too. Let's go ahead and use the feathers now too. Some of them anyway. Health feathers. Oh... Torakat should be a tank, so we'll do that. Resist Feather. Do that. Swift Feather. Ah, uh, you know what? Just give it all to you, because why not? Why not, bro? The Feathers make such a minimal difference every anyway, right? I'll be lucky if I get, like, one stack gain off them. Okay. I think we're good. The scariest gym leader has been dealt with, I hope. Claire would be a little rough too, but... Dragon Rage! We should assume at this point Dragon Rage is always going to be a two-shot tactic. Let's do it. Bugsy. Well, this shouldn't be too problematic here. Let's do it. Perfect, perfect. Okay. Speed boost is going to come into play for Ninjask. Hmm. But I still should use the fake out. I feel like I should fake out and hit Ninjask with the Dragon Rage. That might be good. Get kill it before it does anything stupid. And then I can Fire Fang the Wormadam next turn. I'm taking a chance here. Oh, this isn't going to be enough, is it? Damn, I was close. Confusion on you. All right, that's fine. Fire Fang you and just rage you again. Damn, Eviolite Light working overtime. Bugsy's still second gym right now, ain't he? Now, what was next? Two more. 
Joltik. It, I gotta say, it really, it really paid off to be a little bit more prepared this time, didn't it? Okay. Let's just fire fang you. Should be okay. All I can do is Dragon Rage because I'm locked into it with this Choice Scarf. Yeah, I thought so. T-Bolt. Dratini is not going to be able to use Dragon Rage for too much longer, yeah. Bug moment. Excellent. Leader Bugsy. Well fought, trainer. It had a life orb? Oh, I missed that. <laughs> Perfect. Okay, we definitely want to go towards a Nurse Joy. I feel like I should just take this route. I have my team put together and can just use this. Typical route. Nice. Serious Mints. This is to the left of, um, Petalburg. Let's have a look around. Paralyzed Heels. Bunch of stuff to pick up there. I'll just cut the tree and get to it. Hey, look, Apom. Ooh. I wonder how good Apom would be to grab. I could use Ambipom with, um... Could use Ambipom with, uh, Fake Out as well. It'd be better than Beautifly, let's be real. I give it Technician. That's right, it does get that. Goodbye, Beautifly. Another one for the decks, anyway. Give a nickname to Captured Apom. Nope. Run away. Darn it. Hang on, does, A does Apom itself get Technician, or is it something different before Ambipom? Relax nature. Eh, that's not good. What's a good nature for this thing? I'll make sure to pay, pay attention for the mint. A we know Apom itself is pretty garbo. Ambipom is where it's at. Jolly's good for it. Okay, I don't think I have any Jolly Mints. Hell Feathers, Energy Roots. Thought it crashed for a second. I was worried. Let's see if that got me to 74. It did not. It's either Run Away or, or Pick Up. Make sure we pick up as much items as we can, too. Yeah. I'm fighting extra trainers and stuff. I want to make sure I got what I need. Hold up. Now let's go down here and get some stuff. Should take out some Pokemon for experience, too. Hey, how's it going, Sunkern? You're super unwanted here, too. I don't remember the, uh, the level of the Alolan starters evolve. I want to just assume it's, um... I want to just assume they have all the 36. Swift? Hell no. Hell no. Synthesis? Hell no. Moo Moo Milk? Lemonade? Oh yeah. Let's battle. I can just surf to get the item, don't worry. Oh, dear. Lola's special right here. Okay, this might be a little worrying with Tora Cat up front, but we are level 28, so here's what we'll do. Let's prioritize getting rid of um, the Lycan Rock. Make sure it doesn't move here. Uh-oh. That won't do much. Give you a light plus intimidate. I'm a tank. Now, at this point, I can double-kick you, and Dragon Rage can finish you off. Nice, more levels. Dratini is trying to learn Dragon Tail. I might be needing this soon, so I'll just learn it. Who's learning Charm? Oh, it's the teddy bear. Now we don't need that. 
Golet wants magnitude. Nah. Agility. Nah. I don't remember what level I learned double hit for Apom. Rich boy gave me rich money. Oh, nice. Here we go. Big noodle. It does look like a pool noodle, doesn't it? Damn. Remo Raid is one of my surf encounters. Give it some of that crap. Oh, that's not enough? I'm gonna have to use a potion after this battle now. Thirty-three, nope. Thirty-four. Cub wants to learn Slash. I mean, I guess. You don't need Icy Wind and Powder Snow. Apom gets double hit in one more level. Oh, it's about to get it now, then. Tickle. I don't know if there's any real use for that. Fury attack? Nah. Well, here comes Incineroar. Now we gotta take off the Eviolite. Uh, Darkest Lariats. Okay. 8100, 8500. So there's no reason to not just use this over Crunch, right? Other than maybe PP reasons, but I could probably just use PP ups on Darkest Lariat. Crunches with sharp fangs, and it ignores stat changes. Does that mean it ignores the opponents, or also any buffs on me as well? All stat changes to defense. Okay. Goodbye, Crunch. Nice. If only Incineroar Shiny was actually the blue one from Smash Brothers. The one where, it, like, it just has, like, the white fur just looks weird. Oh, nice. Darkest Lariat hits through double team as well. Oh, does it? That's actually good. So it ignores uh, evasion changes as well. Spirit Shackle. Here we go. And this one, yeah... Basically, mean look as a secondary effect. Eh, get rid of leafage, I guess. Now, what do you guys think about replacing Pluck with Fly? Do you feel like that would be better or worse for a double battle strat? I don't think Decidueye is super fast, is it? Boldments. Team Magma Goon. Hasty Mints, Quiet Mints. Hang on, I hit the level cap, didn't I? 34. Okay, so yeah, 36 wasn't didn't seem to be the case for Alolan starters. Meowth! Speed is Decidueye's, like, weakest stat at base 70. Okay. Okay, everyone's at the level cap now. No, you're not learning Dynamic Punch. Dynamic Punch will never hit. If you try to tell yourself otherwise, that's just Copium. Oh, right, I didn't take off the Eviolite. Hang on. Now, it will be a good replacement item now. What do I have at the top? Clever Fever, eh, Feather. Uh, oh, right, Assault Vest. That's why I bought this. I'm not using status moves, so we can put this on. So I didn't really realize this, but according to chat here, In Incineroar is, like, really good and tanky, ain't it? 
Oh, yeah. So it'll be able to take a special hit. And Intimidate covers its physical defense. Yeah, that's actually clever. I like that. Okay. Super defensive. I don't think, um... Dragon Rage is gonna be like a three... A three-shot kill now. Hmm. And now I want to get U-turn. It could replace Double Kick for that, for sure. Okay, here we go. Can I give U-turn through Tutor? Let's find out. Crunch, Revenge, Body Slam. Nope. Level move, Tutor. Throat chop. Because I can't really get a TM for a U-turn in this, because how Gen 3 is. Oh, there it is. I can also get Thunder Punch on it, too, but that's fine. Oh, hang on. Should I, should I go for Flare Blitz over Fire Fang? I actually don't know what the fire move for this guy should be. Anyways... Get rid of double kick. Absolutely, yeah. Okay. Teach Flare Blitz. How much power does it- Oh, 120! Damn! I don't remember it being that strong, but okay. Goodbye, Fire Fang. Okay, as for other Pokémon now... Hmm... I need to get Ambipom up to speed. Okay, nice. Technician. Um, I need a mint for this. That's better. Jolly is what chat said was good. Now, how do you run a good, how do you run a good Ambipom? Teach me, chat. Hang on. I, I, we have this just for this moment. Hang on. There. When the, when the teddy is on screen asking for help, it's okay to give advice. Help teddy build the best Ambipom. Fake out for sure. Oh, that's right. Of course. Baton pass is crucial. Hmm. Doesn't look like I can use it here. Unless I didn't roll it there. Little move, tutor. Doesn't look like it's there. Check the last dude. Ambipom, what do you got? Uh, doesn't look like I'm seeing that right now. Looks like I didn't roll it. Fake out, return, U-turn. It looks like the, the tutors here aren't giving me any of that. I didn't see U-turn or fake out. Damn. So this Ambipom is kind of worthless right now, isn't it? What's a good held item for it? Not great held items here. Calcium. No Jolly Mints. There's Adamant Mints. Life Orb. Don't have that either. Or a Silk Scarf on me. Dude, my Teddy Ursa had it. I should have kept it in the bag. I could have put that on. Oh, boy. I really got nothing with this right now. You know what I could try, since it's fast? What if I... What if I gave it uh, Covet? Do you think I could just steal a, steal something stupid with that? I don't know. Um, Dual Chop is two dragon hits that are powered by Technician. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe if I fight Claire next? Uh, I can't really do anything at the moment, can I? Hold up. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll try it. Why not? I have Baton Pass. And Double Hit is Stab version of things. I don't really need Astonish. I don't need Tickle, that's for sure. We'll do that. I guess. And run Double Hit and, want, and cry when everything misses. 
What can I give Ambipom? Leftovers? Um, hang on a second. If I hit twice, do, does each individual hit roll for a flinch? I don't remember how it works for Gen 8 rules. I don't know if they changed that crap. Yes. I, I could try this for now. Maybe. Maybe. Let me buy an Adamant Mint now, too. Okay. You spend, you're gonna spend so much time in this section here. Otherwise, stuff gets rough. Okay. Maybe save the Eevee Light. Don't risk losing it somewhere here. Okay. General shop. Before the general shop. Let's do this. Lonely. Reduces attack. Up speed. Reduces defense. Serious. Oh, that's neutral mint. Ew. Get rid of that. Brave mint. Honestly, I could probably just ditch the burn heals. Can I buy hyper potions yet? No, I can't. But I'll buy some of these for now. Check the TM shop for extra things. Hidden power. Pr uh, protect? I don't know, man. Maybe I could use that later if I have to toxic stall and I don't roll for this. Reflect. I don't know, I'll buy that for now. Maybe buy both screens. Okay. Hold up. Do I want an ability patch for Dragonair? Later? I think I do. Now, what else can I go for here? Hmm. Yeah, multi-scale. What's a good nature for uh, Dragonite, by the way? Because this thing has a neutral nature, so I should probably change that at some point. Adamant? Okay, yeah, I should go ahead and give it that now, then. Let me buy another Adamant Mint. Oh, it's the wrong one. I can never remember which one sells what. Physical Sweeper. Do you think I should give the Eviolite to Dragonair for now? Dragon Rage isn't going to really work anymore, so I don't need the Choice Scarf it, so let's do that. It's something, right? Now, is there anyone on this team that really needs to set screens? These two are just kind of dead weight until they evolve in a little bit. In fact, they're really not the best Pokemon. They're slow as hell, too. Okay. Hmm. Maybe check if Dragonair can get extreme speed. Good idea. I've been neglecting Dragonair for the tutors. Nothing there. Nope. Egg moves, maybe? Dragon Rush. Do I want Dragon Rush or Iron Tail? I'm not so sure I need those, but I should... You know what I should do, actually? Hang on. I should probably put Waterfall on Dragonair if I can. Dragon Tail is that. Forces them to switch out. Don't need Twister, so... Those moves will miss. Yeah, I know, but... Use this in the case of, uh... Some people there. Thanks for giving a sub there, friend. Okay, I think we're good. Let me let me put the help Teddy away. You have helped Teddy. He's going back to playing the game. Good job, gamers. We don't know who it's gonna be, but Incineroar and Dragonair up front should be okay. Incineroar's got the vest. 
You got the Eevee Light. Oh, these two are gonna be, they're gonna be demons tanking everything. This is gonna be great. And hang on, I did heal, right? Okay, let's go. Gym leader number three. And we are at the cap. 35. Everyone is 35. Stretch? Yeah, I should stretch like a good teddy, too. Oh, it's Jasmine. She's back to battle us after helping the survivors in the Pokemon Nightfall. And she has a tiny head. Rodents and birds. Well, well, well. This is a nice little matchup, isn't it? Okay. I feel like I should just skip the fake out and go for Flare Blitz. Or I could, I could fake out the rat. Hmm. Fake out one of them and then have Dragonair. Uh, Thunder Wave, the other... Yeah, that might work, actually. Hmm. Could just stop you for this turn and then Thunder Wave you. To make things easier. Perfect. If I roll the Paralysis, it's a free turn. Okay, no, you're setting spikes. No problem, then. Hmm. I could definitely tank a Flare Blitz. If that's the case, I'll Flare Blitz you, and I'll Dragon Rage you. I have no- I don't need to switch here anyway. Decidueye I shouldn't be able to contact Spikes. Hey, okay, I have Shed Skin. No, don't worry, I have Shed Skin. I'm fine. I'm fine. Okay, yeah, did a bit more than I would have liked. Body press. Ooh. Well then, wasn't expecting that. Looks like I should switch out after all then. Hmm. Should I risk the U-turn? No, no, it's Laron and Paralyzed Skarmory. I'd outspeed them for sure. Problem is, what should I go into? If he's going for body press, Decidueye would not be able to get hit by it at all, because ghost type. Shed skin will activate, don't worry, it will. Just get rid of the Skarmory already. You can also just play it safe and use Golet Stomping Tantrum too. Damn it! Wait, what? Rocky Hell- Oh, dude! Dude! If I would've lost Incineroar to that, I would've rage quit. I would- Mmm. Go, let's hurt by spikes. I didn't even think about a Rocky Helmet. Doesn't affect Golet. Hey, Dragonair? Can you activate the Shed Skin, please? I'm gonna have to heal, so that's what I'll do. I'll heal it myself for crying out loud. Since Shed Skin's not gonna do it. Where the heck is the Shell Lore save? There it is. I killed the Toxic Setter, so I'm fine. Nice. Rocky Helmet. If I lose Golet, that's a sacrifice I'm willing to make. Left key. Uh-oh, Fairy-type blast. Stomping Tantrum on you. And I'm gonna Super Potion my dragon. A Toxic with some garbage. There you go. What? Great. Hmm. This has become a problem, hasn't it? Ambipom can't really do anything against Steel-types. 
Do I have to just potion spam? All I have is super potions, though. Oh, dear. Hmm. Not great. Bright powder could make them miss, but that's not really a guarantee of anything. Hmm. Just trying to think how I want to handle this. Could send in Incineroar, then switch Dragonair to Decidueye while I use Incineroar's turn to heal Incineroar. Because they shouldn't have any fighting moves. Fire will equal out the Dazzling Gleam. So let's do that. No, I'm fine. Don't worry. You all worry too much. Oh wait, I have energy root. I should do that. Okay, now switch out Dragonair to this. You all worry too much. You missed. Nice. Okay. We need to get rid of some of these lads now. Wait, no, I came out this turn, right? No, I didn't. I healed last turn. I can't use Fake Out. Flare Blitz you. Hmm, just Spirit Shackle here, maybe. Don't worry about it using Earthquake or some crap, but... I'll just do it. Klefki, Thunder Wave! Not good. Good enough. Ow! Oh! Okay, I'm alive. That's why we intimidated. Yeah, the Clefkeet absolutely has Prankster. I can't afford to keep taking more damage. Do I want to switch again? I could sacrifice the Teddy. I mean, I, I've already softened it with Intimidate. Didn't give Cub Chew anything. Slush Rush. I really have had that. I have Brine. I'm sorry, Teddy. You need to get in there. It's time for you to grow up. Teddy got spiked. Come on, it's fine. You're fine. You're fine. Ugh. I don't think lowering its attack with play nice priority. Or no, it's baby doll eyes. What am I saying? Go, Teddy, go! Teddy's like, I am 12. What is this? Well thought, trainer. You all thought the spikes were gonna kill Incineroar. <laughs> well, did you know I had a plan? Oh, hey, what's up? I could get my... Oh, legendary! I got a Master Ball just for this occasion. I knew exactly what I was doing. Do you think I just randomly forgot and just am lucky I lived on 1 HP? <laughs> no faith at all. Average chili route. Calm, rugged route. Hmm. Imagine it's Moltres. Ugh! You can't give Moltres away. That's how bad it is. Well, let's go this way. How many badges is that so far? Three. Damn, only three battles. Hidden power. Do I fight the lady? Maybe I should fight some uh, wild Pokemon first. How about that? See, I like the Flare Blitz. The unfortunate part is that I take a chunk of damage. So, I feel like uh, Incineroar is very susceptible to a random crit, just like killing it stupidly. 
There's Gligar. Um, I have the Razor Fangs. Oh, what do you think? I mean, I'm about to catch a Legendary, but do I want to keep Cub Chew? There's too many types remaining that are good against Gliscor, though. I don't think I really need to go for that. You turn. Gosh, damn. I'm taking this out. I need levels. Thrash? No. Flail. You're fine, Teddy. Bling? Nah. Sucker Punch. Oh, dude. Do I want to play the Sucker Punch game? I don't. Dude, I I can never correctly predict this with an AI. Every time I try, I just get the wrong one. I'm better off just using Spirit Shackle. I know this gives him priority, kind of, but it's like... <sighs> I, I don't think I want to do this. Or do I? Oh, do I? I mean, do I need Steel Wing anymore? Not really. Not really fairy. I'd rather use stab than use steel wing for fairy types anyway. Fuck is that? I should put fly on maybe. All right, fine. I'll do it. Teddy. Everybody cheer for a bear. Bear tick. Icicle Crash. Don't need Icy Wind. Now I can put Waterfall on this thing too, right? Brine isn't good anymore. It's a special move. Yeah. What's a good set for Bear Tick? I don't know what Bear Tick is supposed to do in an, in an environment like this. Finally, an Ice move. Wait, what? I thought Bear Tick could learn Waterfall. Oh, damn. I guess I can't do that. I gotta take advantage of Slush Rush, do I? Hmm. I need some better TMs for it, clearly. Hang on a second. Hmm, all I have is I... It can get Aqua Jet. I'll have to take it to the tutor, then. I can't really do a whole lot this moment. Bear Tick's brave and already slow as hell, so I don't think a single Icy Wind is changing anything up for that. Let's battle. Okay. Should be alright. Eevee Lights on Dragonair, Assault Vest on Incineroar. Well, well, looks like the turns have tabled. Hmm. Let's do this. Damn, crit. Forty-one. Aqua Tail. Nah. If you make me choose between Aqua Tail and Waterfall, I'm gonna tell you Waterfall doesn't miss 100% of the time. Bear Tick wants to sleep. We can't sleep, Teddy. You don't need Nasty Plot, no. Staravia flinched. Let's just do that. Let the bear hibernate. No! This teddy's got work to do. Well fought. Got no excuse. Shouldn't be riding this there. Go, teddy, go. Bear tick just isn't a good competitive Pokemon, is it? I mean... 
So I've heard. Okay, now how did I do this again? I see, that's how you do it. Let's take this guy out though. Okay, no problem. I don't think these two can really do a whole lot, can they? Hmm. Just do something. Hit him. Cotton Guard. Defense drastically rose. Well, that's not going to help you too much now, is it? Hmm. Whatever the legendary is, it better be a special attacker. Because I kind of need some of those at this point. Perfect. Flamethrower. No, no, no. Last resort. Now, this might not be the worst idea in the world. However, if I... What, what am I... I'm not, I'm not going to Technician Astonish to beat Morty. That's just not going to happen, let's be real. Um... I could use the move deleter at once Morty is removed, and then basically just go go to town with a uh, fake out and last resort. Or I could do something else. Yeah, you can use the move deleter. There is one at the uh, hub, little hub areas. If I get to that legendary and it's one of the frickin' Reggies again, I'm gonna be upset. Razor Leaf over Leaf Blade. Alright, I said that backwards. We could try it. It's a silly strat, but it hits hard. And if my opponent has a Steel type, I'm going to cry like hell, I can tell you that. Last Resort is probably the whole reason there's a Move Deleter even in the hub, yeah. Okay. I think I want to keep pressing for those items. We're not at the point where the trainers are too dangerous yet. Yeah, I could start using Ambipom up front with Incineroar for silly stuff, yeah. We could open with double fake outs or and like set them up to die, I guess. You're gonna set some stuff up, I just know it. Let's do this. Damn, that fake out can hit hard. And that hit harder. And everyone's hit the max level. Bear tick wants Blizzard. I mean, it's not great, but... If I end up in a hail situation, it's a stab option for now. That can't miss. I don't want to use my flare blitzes. But whatever. I don't need to worry about Morty. Darkest Lariat will frickin' shred it. I, that's right. I'm set up to Gen 7, so the legendaries could actually be good now. Instead of getting just the, uh, the golems and the beasts over and over. And how did I do this again? Beast balls. Ooh. Hang on, if you get an Ultra Beast, what, what, how much better are the Beast Balls compared to an Ultra Ball? I don't actually remember how it works, I just know they suck on something that's, um, not an Ultra Beast. I believe Ultra Beast ha can spawn, yeah, I've used, used one in a run before. Whatever the hell Poipal evolves from. Okay, I don't think I can get in there anymore, can I? I don't know. Dragon Claw. There we go. Now let's check for the items over here. Nest Balls. Making sure I get money. I don't think I need to fight that trainer. There we go. Oh, nice! I got TM for Hail. Hang on. Bear Tick did have Slush Rush, right? So, does this double my speed? 
If that's the case, maybe I should pick a different nature. Maybe just go for adamant, actually. If that would work better. Beast balls on an Ultra Beast are a five times catch rate compared to Ultra Balls being two. Slush Rush is just Swift Swim, but for Hail. Okay. Another Adamant Mint is probably needed then. Spooky Route. Let's get spooky, everybody. Oh, a Spooky Forest. Oh, hey, how's it going, Crobat? Oh, I can't run from you. Oh, I can't run from you. Oh, I can't run from you! Oh, this is not good. That's not good. Maybe Dragon will be fine. And now I have been hit by Mean Look. We've got HP. Waterfall should be... Yeah, okay. Here we go. Thank you for the sub there, friend. Dash him again! Let me get out of that grass. Only got super potions here. Use up these regular potions, why don't I? Do I have a Petra Berry? I do. Let's use that instead. Okay. Wait, ghost types are always guaranteed to flee from battles? Hold up. Is that something that was added in later gens? I don't remember hearing about that. This is new to me. Lolan Grimer. I think it started in Gen 6. So all Gen 6 Pokemon just have Runaway as a hidden hidden ability? Oh, nice. Huh. I never knew that. That's weird. Ooh, a Thunderbolt. It's not bad. Yeah, they can even escape things like Fire Spin. Are they allowed to switch out of moves like Fire Spin and Wrap, though? Yes. Really? I did not know that. Oh, nice. Ice Stones. Don't know if I need those, though. That's how they uh, made Shadow Tag no longer broken. Oh, so you can get play around Shadow Tag with Ghost types, then. Shockwave. Dawnstones. I'll just lead with Decidueye then. Come on. We don't need anything here. We're about to catch a legendary in the next one. Everybody place your bets. What's this gonna be? I like to have realistic expectations, so Mewtwo. I would like one Mewtwo, please. Ice Beam. Too bad my Ice Pokemon's a physical attacker. I don't even know how to use any of the Tapus competitively, in all honesty. Well, I don't know how to use anything competitively, but the Tapus, I don't even remember the types of half of them. I can't even reliably remember what all of uh, the Ultra Beasts even are. I have to fight, um, yeah, Team Aqua member. Okay, you two up front should be okay again. Um, did you just call Faramosa a sexy cockroach? <laughs> okay. It's Articuno. Oh, is it supposed to be snowing here for this? 
Okay, let's fake out you. And let's go for... Damn, Waterfall's not a good option here, huh? Maybe I should switch into... Decidueye. No, I'll switch into Decidueye with Incineroar U-turns. Uh, Let's just break the shelter so it can't do anything but sit there. Okay, now we're going to U-turn you. Dragonair is going to Dragon Rage to finish you off. Damn. Let's go. Razor Shell. Ponyard. Damn. Well, I already got rid of my thing, so let's just Leaf Blade Shelter and Waterfall Ponyard here. What did that just say? Did that say berry juice or something? I missed that. I glanced over at chat and then I realized an item went off. Went off. <sighs> oh boy. Bright powder gone. Yep, berry juice. Okay. That's the case. Let's go back to Incineroar. There's no reason to stay in. And we'll waterfall you. Defiance. I forgot that's how that worked. <laughs> Oops. It's my turn one. Um, who else has Defiant other than Ponyard and Bisharp? Well thought. Alrighty. So, here's what we're gonna do. If it's, um... If it's an Ultra Beast, how many Ultra or Beast Balls do I have? I've got three. I could T-Wave it, or I could try the Quick Ball, then try the Beast Balls. Because if I can save the Master Ball, that'd be good, but... Really, I should just Master Ball if it's anything else. Like, I, I can't... Honestly, I feel like the best thing you can do to help your runs be more consistent is to, like, farm money for the hub hub outside of runs so you can carry more Master Balls into a run. Because I should have been doing this, like, a lot longer ago. Let me see now. Oops. Let me go ahead and use up... Hang on, am I out of Super Potions, bro? Where are they? There they are. Just heal a little bit. Excellent. Can't save. There's only quick save options in this. There's no save scumming. I don't recognize that cry, but I do recognize this song. This song is... Oh, hey, Zygarde. This song gets me claimed on YouTube. Just make your own tunes. Just imagine that Moomin's in the corner with playing with pots and pans. You know, I could just try the, the quick ball, and if it doesn't work... Wait, no. It's Zygarde. Won't it, like, KO me one hit? I'm quick balling. I have the Eviolite. I can take a hit. One. No. Alright, Master Ball it is. Let's get it. I've never used Zygarde in any capacity. I know it has, um, like, the different forms and stuff that was scrapped from Z version. It's said to be monitoring the ecosystem from deep in the cave, uh, caves where it lives. There are rumors that even greater power lies hidden within its cells. Okay, I have a Zygarde now. That's cool. That's neat. It has Dig. Reverse Aura Abilities. What does that mean? I don't actually know what the hell that means. I've got Naive Nature. So chat, feel free to tell me what the hell I'm supposed to do to make this usable. I do have Protect. 
Land's Wrath, if that's the signature, gathers the energy of the land to attack every foe. Oh! Does that mean partners in double battles, too? Neutralizes the abilities of Xerneas and Yveltal. Okay, that's what it means. So it's it's basically like Rayquaza telling Groudon and Kyogre to stop it. Reverses the effects of them. Neat. We activate Sandstorm. Not really needed. So it's Ground Dragon, but we've already beaten Price. So we shouldn't have to worry because Glacia and Lorelei can't show up in the Elite Four. I, I think. Hmm. Hmm. Airlock works on weather in general. Yeah, I know what you mean, but... Land's Wrath is oppon opponent only. Oh, so it's like freaking ground type early surf in a way? I'm down with that. I'm down with that. Watch out for Ice Shard. Good idea. Hang on, what's its speed? 100. It's like one of my fastest mons. E <laughs> second fastest mon like this. It's essentially a one-sided earthquake. Okay. I have to go into the battle now, though. But I can fight the Chansey. Hmm. Bear Tick should have an item now. It should have something, at least. Um, do you think Leftovers would be good for Zygarde? Hang on, do I have any uh, mints that I should use on it, too? Sassy Mint. Okay. Lemonade's there. What's a good nature for this Zygarde? Adamant as well? I'm kind of worried about leaving its special defense crappy like this. Well, I, can't, I don't have access to the tutors right now, so I don't need to worry about that. Hang on. Clever feathers. No, I don't want to make you hold that. Give me that back. Brave might be the best I have for it right now. That's true. Because I don't want my special defense taking a hit. Where is it? Where is it? Where? I had a brave one. There it is. Fairy moves are in this, yes. Okay, let's get the leftovers to Zygarde as well. And what about Teddy? I could give it the Mystic Water, so... Wait, no, it only has Brine. <laughs> Never mind. I'm worried about having to fight Claire or something, because she could easily be able to hit it. Lance would be a problem, too, but what can you do, right? Um, I don't have a Quick Claw on me. I don't have any special moves to really use still. Razor items have a secondary effect, yeah. Bertic can learn Surf, but why would I teach it to it? Not really going to do anything. It's not a special attacker. Naive Mint. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> okay, pardon me. May as well go for the boosted crit rate if I have those. Hang on. Where the hell are they? That's all I got. Now I just need to quickly... Wait, no. Use Decidueye for this. And also get myself back to full health. Use up the regular potions. I'll just use up a super potion. I don't care. Get them chances.
A's. I'm not so sure I need that, but I don't need bind. I don't know if Zygarde's extra forms are even in this, to be honest, no. I don't know what I'm supposed to do to actually do that. <laughs> like, at all. Okay, so I'm at level 45. Is it too early to use the rare candies? I don't know if I really need to just spend 10 to get Dragonite right now. Should I lead with... Hang on, Jasmine's been defeated. I could lead with Ambipom and Incineroar and then do double fakeout strats and then get the hell out of there, but I don't have Ambipom fully set up. It has Razor Fang, so I could... If I get Morty, then I'm just gonna have to get Ambipom the hell out of there. Could potentially just go for Dual Chop. I resist their strongest attacks, unless they have Focus Blast, in which case I'm screwed. I mean, if I get Morty, I can use Darkest Lariat. And then I could probably switch out... I'm gonna go for it. Hang on, am I at full health? Go, go, go. Okay, it's Whitney. She might have fairy moves. At least secondary fairy typing. Uh-oh. That's, that's really not what I wanted to see. Oh, that's really not what I wanted to see. That's really, really not what I wanted. Well then, let's fake out both of them. Wait, no, I don't have fake out to do this. Um, should probably stop you from doing like literally freaking anything right now first. Hmm. Oh, you garbage. And we speed tie. Oh, wait, what? He knocked off my vest! Okay, then, fine. Hmm. Would you turn kill? Hmm. It could be Scarf Ditto. No, Fake Out had just had the priority and we speed tie, I guess? I don't know. Ditto transformed into me, so we speed ties with Mind Cinderor. It's literally a coin flip who got their Fake Out there. Hmm. I'm not confident. I mean, no, Intimidate didn't activate on me. Ditto has Imposter. It doesn't take my ability, too. Hmm. Is it gonna try and knock off Ambipom, then? I'm worried. It did activate? Ditto copies abilities? No, it doesn't. I'm talking about my Intimidate affecting them. That's what happened. There we go. Yeah, I know my Intimidate activated. We're talking about the, uh, the Imposter Ditto getting an, a new ability. That's what we're not talking about. Okay. Anyways, I'm not confident this could finish it off. Hmm. After it's been sent out, it's too late to trigger Intimidate. Okay, it does. See, now we're just getting multiple different information here. I don't know who to believe anymore. See, the problem is Flare Blitz and Darkest Lariat are also resisted, so I'm just gonna do this. Ditto's trying to... Wait, Ditto's trying to fake out again. Huh? Believe no one. Everyone's telling lies like a bad teddy. Wait, the Ditto is scarfed. It's locked into fake out. You're right! <laughs> You're right! Wait, I could just leave it alone and beat the whole team now. Oh my god, this is great. Oh, this is fantastic. Wait, no, I just killed it. Never mind. I thought I killed the Kecleon. I blinked. Oops. Ah, damn it. You got a crit? Oh, you piece of garbage. Okay, then. Let's just do this to you, and we'll get you the hell out of there. 
I thought I killed the Kecleon first for a second there. Oh, well. What, what are you doing? Stop that. Stop that. Cut that out. Stop that! Critical hit? No! Okay, a couple left. Here comes the tough. Great. Now I need to freaking get you out. Great, do I need to heal now? I could send Incineroar back in and just activate Intimidate. This would be good here. People are checking Bulbapedia. Apparently, did it. Posture Ditto can copy abilities now. Well then. What? Of course. No problem. Not what I want to see. It did a bit more than I like. Wigglytuff's got a life orb. Dude. I'm dying here. Okay, then. That's the case. We're gonna have to do this for Incineroar. I've already lowered the attack. I need to get rid of Wigglytuff. Crust on the effect there. Ooh. Incineroar can die easily. It's got leftovers, but it's also weak. Okay, no problem. Hmm. I lost my assault vest too, so that doesn't help too much. I need I should switch out Incineroar and make sure I get the um hmm. I shouldn't have to worry about ice moves here, right? Hmm. Could also go bear tick too. Let's do that. Oh, didn't know you had that. Oh, no! No! Why does it have overheat? What? I never would have imagined that in a million years. <sighs> okay. Incineroar can just activate Intimidate again. I can fake out, kill the Exploud now. Oh, Scrappy gives you immunity to that, okay. And we're gonna have to use a turn here to heal you up because holy crap. Can you imagine if Overheat hit both opponents? I'd be pissed. Oh, you have that, and now you use it, huh? Now you use it, huh? Hmm. You need to cut that out right now, mister. Set it on fire. Sucker punch, huh? Whitney being toxic. Burns. A Furfro will never use any physical attacks again. Woof. Well fought, trainer. That was hell. This is why I tried to limit the, uh, the pool of Pokemon that can show up in previous runs. Because as Pokemon goes on, you just get, like, Pokemon that can use literally anything. And it, there's no way you can prepare for it. Oh, look, it's Exploud, and it's using Overheat. And you lost your starter. Oh, well. Hmm. I kind of want to take my chances with the one up here. Wait, no. Then there won't be, um... Then I... No, there's not going to be something after them. It's just this guy. After the prep stop, guys, it's going to be the next gym leader. Hmm. No, I'm not going to the green guy. I hate him. 
corrosive route, calm spooky route. Um, I might be able to catch a ghost type. There we go. Three electrizers. Where's the stuff? Oh, look, it's Mimikyu. Came back to taunt me, huh? What? I gotta put Decidue. Oh, never mind. <laughs> never mind, I can't put him up front. As soon as I that came out of my mouth, I realized how stupid that was. Dawnstones. Feels bad, man. Let's battle. The Mungus in Oricorio. I still haven't been able to get a frickin' tutor to teach my frickin' Ambipom, um, fake out, because this game hates me. Good. Wasn't even able to get what I needed yet, huh? I don't want you setting up stuff, so let's do this. Okay. Don't do that. Oh, why did you get critical and flinch? Are you serious? <sighs> Dude, I can't. I can't right now. I'm, I'm getting pissed off. I'm getting pissed off. <laughs> this is not fun. Hang on, should I just send out Zygarde or what now? This game is bullying me now. That's what it's happening. Mm -hmm. Stop it. There's my levels. I'm gonna get real pissed. Dragon Rush. Which one is that? That's never going to hit. Those moves are so unreliable. Two dragons now. Oh boy. Rapidash. Ah, oh, dude, this is a terrible fight to have popped into. Okay, we're gonna flare blitz you and I'm just gonna waterfall to Rapidash. Let's do it! I do have Dragon Claw TMs. Can use that on um Dragonite once I have one. Which right now I don't Oh <laughs> stop it. Oh hey Charizard, what's up? Do I go to Zygarde? I can't use my Dude, I can't even hit it with the frickin' that frickin' move. But I can resist most of what you're doing. do this. Let's go. Okay, one more of those. Oh! Oh, I made you flinch with the waterfall. That's good. <laughs> I can't hit the Charizard. <laughs> Maybe I'll end up hitting doing that. Do this. Oh, you agility this time, okay. No, don't. Oh. Okay, good. Perfect. Shed skin activated, cool. Now let me go ahead and just give myself a potion, because I need it. Yeah, it's bouncing again. Just gonna have to keep doing that, and pressing waterfall on you. I should not have wandered near this trainer. All that for a meager amount of money, too. Oh, hey, Kadabra. 
Now that's something I can use. Do I need a link cable? I never remember if I need a link cable or if it's a... Uh, or, it, or if it's just a level here. There is no more quick balls, it seems. Damn. Hold up, have I caught you before? I have. Repeat ball would be fine, then. Need an item? Okay, here we go. I have a Psychic TM, but what level does it learn it naturally? I feel like it should get it naturally. Inner focus, calm nature. Ah, that's fine, I guess. Oh, yes, there we go. Speed is 99. Could be higher. I feel like Ambipom should be up front so I could run away more easily. Don't do Eviolite on Kadabra, it's way too frail. Yeah, I wasn't planning on it, but... Let's do this for now until we get a heal. Now, I need to cure my sleep here. Let me get some encounters, please. What else can I find here? Dinos! Need something I can beat up, though. Meditite. Use a fighting move on me. Rum pig. Do this. Can't psychic me. Power gem. Oh my god, get out of here. Whatever, it doesn't hurt. It doesn't hurt. We just do this. <sighs> this game's getting to me. Nope. Zygarde wants crunch? Yeah, you can take that. You don't really need dig when Land's Wrath is there. Other moves will be replaced too. Crunch will be useful for Morty. Trick? I don't think Ally Switch is going to do anything here. There we go. Ally Switch actually breaks the AI, does it? Oh. Well, it's already gone now, unless I move to it or it back. What do you mean? Does it even work in this game, or is it like a... Uh... Something that only this mod has. Sneasel. Wait, what? Yeah, let's say scratch or snatch. Confused for a moment. Okay. Bear tick wants hail. I already have hail TMs for when I need it. Safeguard? Nah. Come on, one more level and I can have Dragonite. Come on, I need a Dragonite, please. Ah, just go for it. We need a Moomin Dragon and we need it now. Earthquake? Nah, you don't need that. Now, if I could just finally get to a tutor, that would be fantastic, too. Let me get a drink while this happens. Excellent. Wing attack! <laughs> well, you don't need Dragon Rage anymore, that's for sure.
Now we give this thing Dragon Claw and a different item. Yeah, tail is that. Yeah, claw is way better for sure. So I have inner focus. Is Marvel Scale a hidden ability or ability to? Because I think I have a single capsule, but not a patch on me. It's hidden? Okay. Eviolite is now worthless, but... What else should I give it? What else should I give it? I could give it a choice scarf. Just send it in to hit things hard. Hmm. Like, yeah, choice scarf wouldn't be the worst idea if it's just going in and hit hard with uh, Dragon Claw. Not like anything really like is immune to that except fairies, and I just beat Whitney. down here. Do that. Oh, sorry. Multi-scale, not marble scale. I don't want to do no more battling at the moment. <laughs> Dinosaurs. There we go. Average breezy route. I gotta get to that battle prep stop. Hmm. I got some heavy hitters now, but I need a link cable pretty badly. Hopefully during the battle prep stop I can buy one. For now, let's have a look. I don't need to battle anything here. Maybe I should just use a repel. Because I don't think there's anybody on the team I want to replace. Hang on. Do I got a max repel? I do. Can't run in the big grass. Wish this mod changed that. We may as well take a peek down here for any items. Oh, people are walking around there, actually. I don't want to deal with them. Moon balls. Dark gems. Deep sea tooths. There we go. Double mud slide there. Ethers. I heard a Pokemon cry, but I'm not sure which one. Hmm. I don't know. I don't think I really need to press this area that much. Hell's effect is worn off. More dark gems. I could ride the waterfalls. Don't want to do that. There's a gentleman there. Lax incense. That's basically bright powder, right? I lost my bright pow- oh, I don't have the right bike. Or, wait, I have- I could change them, but that takes too much work. It doesn't look like there's really anything over there. Bag is full. Clever feather. Give that to Kadabra. And we'll sell some of this stuff at the next stop, too. Hmm. Alright, let's walk over here. Let's have a little walk over here. Sea King in the grass. Okay. Babiri, Rindo Berries. I'm begging you. Have what I need, please. I would like a link cable, but what do you, what do you have here? There's no ability patch, no multi scale. Uh, do I need any of these mints? Hang on, what's a good mint for, um, uh, Alakazam? I think Jolly Mint is good, right? 
Dragon Scale, Dubious Disc. King's Rock, damn. Don't see it. Timid. Oh, yeah, right. I, I got those backwards, didn't I? I have no room for this. Well, I better sell. Grass Gems, Naive Mint. Do this. I'm never going to use this. Could sell some of the Dawn Stones. I only really need to have one on me. Eh, two of those. Not using these. Odd Incense. I mean, I don't know about that one. Hello, friend, welcome. Hasty Mints. Sell those. Now buy a Timid one. Did I give a good mint to Ambipom? I don't remember if I did. Right, Adamant. Do I want to make it faster? I could go Jolly on um, Ambipom, yeah. Or do I want the extra attack, or is it fine as is? I don't know. Bear Tick. Maybe Bear Tick needs a better held item as well. Hmm. You know what I could do is I could give you... Bear Tick special is garbage. I shouldn't rely on Blizzard. I should give it Hail and Protect. Or something. Or turn one, I could send it into doubles with Incineroar. Activate Hail while Incineroar fakes out somebody. I don't know if I'm deleting the moves on Ambipom yet. It all depends on whether or not the other stuff I need is actually available. And you certainly exist, Dragonite. Hmm. I don't want Hail for the rest of my Pokémon, though. That's also true. Yeah. That would actually just end up killing Incineroar at this rate. Dude, I can't buy potions. I'm gonna get slaughtered at the next gym fight, for sure. Thousand Arrows can hit flying foes, then knocks them to the ground. So Thousand Arrows is just, um... Is it like it's multiple form stuff or whatever? I guess I want this over whatever the current one I have is. Thousand Arrows. It's just a straight upgrade and hits both targets. All right. Do I need Haze and Sandstorm? I could just take both for extra PP. But what other moves do I need on Zygarde? Blair, Bulldoze, Bite, Dig, Earthquake, nope. What about Dragonite here? Hurricane... Hmm... That's 70 accuracy, I'll never trust that. I could put one of the punches on over wing attack. I don't know. I don't know. Honestly, if I'm running Choice Scarf, I could just put Fly over wing attack if I need it. Is it Help Teddy Hour? I should put the Help Teddy back on screen. Boop. Help Teddy is active. Roost is there. Aqua Tail, Dragon Rush, Dragon Tail. What about Bear Tick? Sheer Cold, bro. Oh, Aqua Jet. Yeah, I should put that on. Over Brine. Hmm. Superpower over Slash could be okay. I don't really need Blizzard at all. Okay. Hmm. What about Ambipom now? I'm really there. What about the Kadabra? Nah, you don't need none of this. I don't think I can really use, um, Ally Switch in this run anyway. Check Ambipom again. Low Kick, Low Sweep. Fire Punch. Hmm. 
Dazzling Gleam. Is there anyone I could really use this against? Um, if I end up fighting Karen, she'll probably actually have dark types. That's an assumption. Ignore my excitement about ally switch. Doesn't really work here. It's only good on bulky Pokemon like Dusclops or Sableye. Karen and Bruno, that's true. Yeah, I guess we can teach that. Do I feel like roleplay and trick are too situational? Like, I don't think I need these. Unless I'm planning to steal something good from my opponent. In which case, I'm so fragile, like I'm not gonna... Roleplay is just bad. Future Sight has got me out of some jams, but I feel like if I have Staff Psychic anyway... I don't know. Okay, what else should we check here? 15 hidden. Damn. Oh, that's right! I could use Trick Choice Scarf. If I put on Choice Specs, you can trick a physical attacker into a move. Oh, okay. Yeah, I, I get what you're saying. I lose the item doing that, though. Oh, okay. So, wait. If I do that, do I keep my opponent's item at the end of the battle? I don't go back to the Choice Scarf? Egg moves. What does this do? Items go back? No. Okay. Now nah, we don't need these. Ambipalm. Counter Screech. Switcheroo. Same dealio with that. I think at this point I should just do the fake out last resort strat with Ambipalm. I'm not getting anything else to really use here, huh? We're not going to be able to set it up with Baton Pass. I think maybe... Wait, I can't even learn Fake Out. What am I saying? Maybe I should just... Maybe I should just delete the other three moves and, and spam Last Resort. I don't know. <laughs> uh... There we go. Yeah, that's why I'm talking about Move Deleter. I know I can't use Last Resort with Baton Pass. Last Resort count uh, requires at least one other move. Is Fake Out an egg move or what for Ambipalm? Because I never seem to see it on the stupid list here. Like, ever. Fake Out, Fake Out, Fake Out. Nope. Let me just double check here. No, I didn't see fake out here either. I'm not getting it, so I can't even use it. Damn it. Dude, what do I even do here? Fake out's an egg move. Well, I didn't seem to roll it there, so I can't do that. Damn, we're in a annoying situation, aren't we? Choice Scarf. Hang on, how much more power does Fly have? Dragon Claw is there. Protect. I mean, if I really wanted to, I could just use Protect and then Last Resort. What about that? <laughs> Would that work? Hmm. Have a look here. 90, 95, 60, 100. Oh boy. It's going to die. I know, it's gonna die. There's not much I can super do about that. Now what item could I put on Kadabra? Check its stats here good enough, but physical attacker would just murder it. It needs something. The Eviolite, would, would that even work on it? I mean, it would make my special defense better. I feel like there's nothing else to really put on this is the problem.
Can I even buy another scarf? Hang on. Bug gem, anklet, twisted spoon, scope lens, wise glasses, weakness... Damn, these are not very good right here. Twisted spoon would almost be better. I have the odd incense, though. Odd incense gives the same boost as twisted spoon, doesn't it? Hang on, now I gotta put nasty plot on this thing. It wasn't here. Can't never remember which tutors give what. Uh, last resort won't even work. So let's just do this for now. Okay, that covers that. Give you the odd incense. Because we're at a loss as to what the hell to even do with you. And what else do you have? Should I give you a different item? Zygarde's got the leftovers. Damn, good physical defense. Will it even come out to this? I don't know. Because I don't know if I even want to lead with Ambipom. I can't even get the fake out on the damn thing. Now I need to actually heal the heal myself. I'm like out of... I need a place to actually buy more potions at this point. So I'm getting destroyed. Lemonade. I don't have to do... I already did- I already checked tutors for Zygarde. We already did all- did all that. Lands Wrath. Okay, so this thing just hits the flying foes. Hmm. Do I need the TM anything else? I don't really have a whole lot of TMs. Alright, it's time to go. Spend enough time there. 55. So who's remaining here? Taking a look at this. Got four badges. There's Chuck, Faulkner, um, Claire, and Morty. All of those could be trouble, depending on how it goes. Hmm. Hmm. Chuck would absolutely slaughter me, but of course, we want to have Intimidate up front, no matter what. I could also just put Zygarde up there. But Zygarde doesn't really have Dragon coverage, that's what Dragonite is for. Choice Scarf is on you. If I get Chuck, then I can also fly into it, too. I'm gonna go with this. Ugh, I'm annoyed, I'm annoyed, I'm annoyed. I don't have many items left. Just have to take the- not gonna waste a potion or any other stuff on healing that- Ah, it's Chuck! I knew it! Okay. Ooh. Good start. Now then, I say we fake out you. Then we're gonna go in for the fly. Hmm. You could go for high jump kick next turn for all we know, but... I'm gonna make sure we U-turn on this on the Scrafty next turn. Uh-oh! Okay, this is fine. This is fine. Critical hit. Okay, send in Zygarde first, maybe, because they're going to go for a fighting move on these guys. Or, I could send in Ambipom now and use a... S no, I can't set up Nasty Plot. They're going to go for a fighting move on him. If I could, I don't know for sure if I'll be able to take a single attack, because what if Scrafty can high jump kick, and that would just slaughter me. 
It'd be safer to just send in Zygarde here, I feel, and then go back to Intimidate if I need it. Let's do that. Okay, he's bulking up. He put his attack back to normal. What's he doing? Get those HP there. Ooh. Okay, fly on you should be pretty fine. Okay, we got Zygarde. Go back to Intimidate. Where do I attack here? Hmm. <sighs> That shroom is scary. These Pokemon can hit me freaking hard. Hope it doesn't have a sash. I should be fine with one turn on here. Oh yeah, I have Haze. That's right, I could reset uh, the defense if I need to as well, but... Hmm. In case the Berloom is focus sashed, do this. There it goes. Oh, some crunchy audio on that right there. Ooh, nice, a crit. Rock Tomb and it missed. Knock off, it missed. They both went for Dragonite. Okay, then. Could just do it again. Excellent. This is okay. I'm a little bit scared, though. I mean, every battle in this game is scary after, like, the second gym. Let's be real. Okay. You knocked off my choice scarf. Oh, no. Why would you do that? Okay, he's got throw. Hmm. I could keep slowly taking them down. They're not attacking Zygarde. Hey, Bert, it's me. Look at me, I'm fighting on the Pokemon team. Bad move, Scrafty. Sock is the one that has... Uh-oh. Well, there goes my leftovers. Critical hit on me, too. Bro, stop that. <laughs> They're not even using fighting moves. They just keep knocking... Wait, what? Uh-oh. Uh, fly will kill it. Copium. There we go. I was as soon as I saw the burn, I'm like, uh-oh, guts. The knockoff was a critical hit. That's why Zygarde took a big chunk, and I lost my leftovers, so no heal. Okay, this is fine. Um, I think I should switch back to Incineroar, proc uh, and get myself an extra intimidate on him. Let's get him. Substitute? Bro, you didn't. Would that even do enough? I'm not confident about that. <sighs> Fly will ha won't even hit through it anyway. Let's switch again. Hmm. I think I should just go for a hitting move. It's probably gonna Citrus Berry to un activate Unburning at 50%. Just go for the U-turn. Switch out first. Close combat! Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, he got a crit! Are you serious? Are you serious? What is with the damn crits? <laughs> this is why this game upsets me. Okay, then. I'm just gonna let Zygarde slowly tank hits now. That's cool. Or break, not that it matters. Well, no reason to haze since you're like this. However, I do need to spend a turn healing me slightly. Let's 
gonna substitute again, probably. Yeah, here it is. Oopsie. Oh boy. Acrobatics. Yep, it's going for it. Dude. Sometimes you prepare, and sometimes close combat hits you with a critical hit, and there's nothing you can do about it. No berry. Yeah, get out of here. Get out of here. My Pokemon died. Both starters dead. That's not good. Okay. Now, there's a strong Pokemon this way. I don't have... Dragonite and Zygarde should be able to tank hits and take it down. That crit was so rude, you're telling me. This is now a double dragon run. Yes, it is. I need to catch some new Mons, so let's go with that. I've had some runs saved by the Grass Patch before. Tough, rugged route. Let's do it. Eject buttons. I need to get myself some extra levels, too. Damn. Fifty-eight. Look at those extra items. Well, we're gonna have to fight the tuber. Only two Pokemon in this route. Well, I can't really go to the battle prep stop and the rare Pokemon spot. I'd rather a guaranteed Pokemon than uh, a small chance of maybe getting an Alakazam. Ooh, Beartick is not the one we want up front here. But Waterfall is wor worthwhile. Hang on. Send in Zygarde. I'm noticing everybody seems to have knockoff as well. Knockoff is making me go batty. Flame body. Well, whatever. Dragon dance. Okay. Now here's the million dollar question. Do I want thunder wave or dragon dance? Do I set up to sweep or do I set up to cry? We've lost my fake out strat. Unless Ambipom gets it. I, Thunder Wave is only going to be good for, like, catching things. If I set up a few Dragon Dances, I am literally killing everything that shows up. So, that could be nice. Alright, let's do it. This could go horribly wrong if I get hit by a random... A random crit, but that's life. And sometimes that's death. Yeah, no. No way in hell. Excellent. Oh. Claire could easily just, like, critical dragon pulse me. Or maybe her Kingdra's got ice coverage specifically. No, she's gonna have more. She could have any dragons up to Gen 7. What am I saying? Anyways, let's do this. And Thousand Arrows. Or wait, no, you're the psychic one. Do that. Ghost? Okay. Well, whatever. Crunch is crunch. Leftovers, baby. I can't even remember what the pink one looks like, if I'm being honest. Um, does Thousand Arrows hit over Levitate as well? I want to say no. Yes, it does? Okay. If I'm gonna run Dragon Dance on Dragonite, what would be a good held item to use for it? Ooh. We're not gonna go for the team Aqua member over there. Life Orb? Once I have the extra ability, I should be able to take that good hit and guarantee at least always get one... Always get one Dragon Dance off the top, that's true. Okay, then. Hmm. Let me cure this burn right quick. Frostberry. I haven't seen any ability patches. I should have bought one to have, like, as a regular item with me at all times. 
Dude, I need to buy some items as well. Can use those citrus berries up if needed, but... Oh, man. I think I should start using the rare candies going into the next battles to make sure I'm over the cap a little bit. I've hoarded 59 of these, but when you divide them over five or six Pokemon, they get used up so quickly. I only have the capsule, not the patch. That'll do. Impishments. Oh, hey, Cradilly. Oh, boy. Ring targets. Oh, don't worry. I'm going to take a short break in a little bit. Just let me get through this part here. Anything I have to use up? Hmm. Anyone not holding anything? Nope. No, I won't want that, actually. One timid... Oh, I didn't use this. Hang on. Wasn't I going to use this on, um... Someone? Kadabra, right? Yeah. Guess I'll just do that, then. Up speed, reduces attack. Oh, you tempt me with those items, but I can get those over there. Gloom is a pretty free kill. I think 65 is the current cap. Everybody gets to 64. Pulse? Wait, no. What am I what am I thinking? You're a physical attacker. Probably should put Dragon Claw on Zygarde before Claire shows up. I got crunch for 40 though. Pixie plate. Yeah, I can't even carry these. We gotta get to a shop and ditch it. I also need one more gloom encounter. Come on. I'm not going to waste a bunch of turns on Cradilly. Not to mention it does some silly stuff to me. There we go. There we go. Damn it. Incineroar could still return, that's right. I could get it back. Gentlemen's, well. Oh boy. Let's see what we got. Don't recognize that cry. Oh, hey, it's Serena. Well, I, I guess I'm catching this. Hmm. What type is Serena? Is it pure grass or did it have a second type? I can't remember. It's pure grass, okay. Okay, nice. No problem. One more crunch. Grass th Ugh, grass thighs type. Okay. Hang on, I should throw out Dragonite now to reduce the power whip. Speed Rose, that's no big deal. Beast Ball, Level Ball, Moon Ball. Damn, I don't have very good Pokeballs on me for this, do I? What level is it? 
it's technically a lower level, but I don't know if that's very that great. Uh, let me just try the Pokeballs first. If I get with a Heal Ball, I wouldn't- I'd have it all healed up for the fight. Oh, well, I already caught it with the Pokeball. <laughs> what do we got? Its long, striking legs aren't just for show, but to be used to kick with skill. In victory, it shows off by kicking the defeated, laughing, laughing boisterously. There we go. Interesting Pokedex entry. Can't imagine this Pokemon getting popular for any particular reason. Thank you for the sub, friend. Queenly Majesty protects from priority. It's timid. Uh, what nature do I want on this thing? Doesn't seem like I want timid. Rapid spin, power whip, knock off, and triple axle. Ah! Huh. Not what I was expecting on a grass type. Don't have a jolly mint on me, I'm pretty sure. Hmm. I could use this for dragons, but I don't know if I want rapid spin. It's not gonna do any damage, it's gonna lower- I'm just gonna increase my speed. Hmm. What about doing Dark Gem knockoff? I don't know. <laughs> Dude, a lot of these attacks are gonna miss. I'm not sure- is- how frail is it? Give it wide lens. Well, time to go and lose the next gym leader battle. Should I use my free heal? Hang on. There's three gym leaders left. I don't know if I should use it here. I have- I could use the citrus berries, maybe, some of them. At least use it for Dragonite. Claire, Morty, and Faulkner are left. So if I start... Hang on. Damn it. Faulkner would be bad for Serena. However, Beartick is pretty good for all of them, I hope. Unless Claire's got fire coverage on some dragons, but dragons have a lot of stuff to worry about. Ah. Maybe I should go double dragons at the start. Hmm. If it's Faulkner, Thousand Arrows will hit them. Anyway. I don't have Dragonite's hidden ability, though. Hmm. I can use some of the candies now, too. Hold up. Energy Root, Moo Moo Milk. Do this. And just in case we need it. Okay, I don't know how much participation Serena's even gonna have. Let me see here. What held item should I give it, based on what I have right now? Let me get to level 65 right quick. Lands, Wrath. Go, Teddy, go. I don't have wide lens, no. Yeah, I lost Incineroar to close combat critical hit from Halucha. That was so unfortunate. I guess I could just put the Laxin Sense on it. Yeah, that could do something. Not great, but it... Who knows, that miss could save the game. Save the run. Okay, time to use some candies to give me the edge. Obviously, we want to save the bulk of them from when we're near the end and can outlevel the Elite Four, but... Coil. Hang on, what does Coil do again? Do I want that? Raises attack, defense, and accuracy. Oh, do you think I sh I could lead with that over Haze. Or I could get rid of Land's Wrath. Coil seems like a good idea. I mean, I'm bulky, and I have... And I have leftovers. Do I... 
I bet these are basically the same move, but one's better. But I'm worried I might want to have Haze ready in case something stupid happens in the opponent. Hmm. That's true. If I use Haze, it would get rid of my own coil. So I guess I'll just ditch Haze. Okay. Outrage. No. This should be okay, then. Give them the edge. How many do I have left? 43. So, quick question, chat. Does Zygarde, Yavelto, or Xerneas even have a hidden ability, or are they stuck with their auras? Oh, right. Dragon Claw. You're right. I keep forgetting to do that. Get rid of that over Lens Wrath. Wait, it can't learn Dragon Claw? Huh? Can't they only have the auras? Okay. No hands. I thought I could learn it anyway, because the forms could. Well then, that's unfortunate. Not much I can really do about that. I could give it Brick Break. Uh, it's not really good for the Pokemon we have to fight anyway. gonna have to wait for a tutor and give it scale shot that's the only dragon coverage i'm getting on it yeah okay enough screwing around let's do it it's falkner no auras or fields here we're going uh-oh Okay. Hmm. Do I go for that coil first? Dragon dance first? I'm gonna try. Okay. Attack rose, defense rose. Oh! You're not an oven! Uh, okay. Well, guess what, weenie? I'm healing it. Try and stop me. Uh-oh, now you're badly poisoned. Okay. Hang on. Do I have, uh, Ross Berries left? No, I don't. You can't stop me. I'm healing that. I'm healing that. Now then... I'm gonna hope you're targeting Dragonite. Hold up a second. Hold up a second. I didn't take the scarf off. Oops. Oops. <laughs> I didn't take the scarf off. Oops. I knew I was forgetting something. Great. I'm just gonna have to deal with this until the frickin' Rotom's dead, don't I? It's taunting now. It is a really nice scarf. Okay, first, Thousand Arrows, and let's Icicle... Icicle Crash you. You're just gonna keep burning me, but I'm not gonna be able to do a lot of damage to Rotom now, so I may as well just hit the times four on you. Wait, does this mean it's super effective since... Wait, are you still electric or what? How does this work? How does this, inter how does this work? No, it doesn't. Rotom fell down. Damn, that did a lot. Damn, this is annoying. I think I'm out of uh, heals for burn, too. We're just gonna have to deal with this. That's deserved. Get out of here. We're on fire, but we're winning. And on fire in more ways than one, apparently. Still only five Pokemon total. Okay, that's the psychic one, right? I don't really remember this one. You! 
You piece of garbage. I remember you. I need to get Bear out. Send in Dragonite. I know what you're going to do. Whew. Good thing I got my Bear out of there when I did. Kill. Kill. I might be burned. I gotta get that scarf off, Dragonite. Damn. You know, co doing coil and then this is pretty damn good. Uh-oh. You doing that, though, is pretty annoying. If it wasn't for my burn, I'd be hitting them even harder. Okay, thousand arrows, and you know what we're gonna do? I'm gonna assume you're gonna try and target Dragonite, so let's do this. I still have the scarf on. Okay, you're wasting your turn with Roost. I don't care. Oh, uh, I don't want to deal with knockoff anymore. <laughs> but it would be nice if they could have taken my scarf off. Critical hit! Nice! The burn doesn't even matter anymore. Double dragon's doing it. Oh, two cannon. I don't actually know what two cannon can really do. Hmm. Let's just keep doing this. Critical hit. Ooh. That did a lot more than I thought. I'm imagining a picture now of, like, Dragonite and uh, Zygarde being back-to-back -back with their arms crossed, and then I remembered uh, no arms on Zygarde. Just like it can't le very clearly can't learn Dragon Claw. I got this Halucha stuck in a loop. It just keeps healing, and I don't have to try. Well then, finish him. Finish him. This Halucha is going to suffer for what it did to my cat earlier. Thousand arrows. We've got two more gems left after this. The Elite Four, though, is basically, once you get to that, it's like, you you lose if you if, depend on what Pokemon they have. This game could be rough. Well thought, trainer. We did it. Oh! I can go to a legendary as well if I take this road. Ooh. But then I miss out on another prep stop. Bro, I'm never even getting any nurse, nurse joys. But what if I get cursed if I do this? Oh no. Oh no, no, no. I need the cat back, though. I need the cat back. <laughs> I need the cat back. Hey, I managed to catch some of the Pokemon that had fainted. I want to give you all of them back, but I told them I would make the ventures too easy, whatever that means. There he is. Okay, what do you guys think? A Ambipom, Kadabra, or Serena? I'm not sure which of these I should really get rid of. Ambipom has really outlived its usefulness. I, if I could have gotten it fake out... I mean, I have a fake out user now. I'm sorry, Ambipom. Don't curse me. Please don't curse me. No curse. Too late, item's already gone. I'm pretty sure it goes back to the inventory anyway. Okay, I got my boy back. The, it still has the vest. It still has the vest, this is great. It's level 55 though. Okay, I'm back from a little break. Now let me go ahead and take the choice scarf off of you. I'm not sure what else to really put on you for now instead of a citrus berry. I'm sure I'll pick something else in a little bit here. I definitely needed a little break. I think, chat, in the future, whenever I'm, um, in a situation where, like, I get absolutely destroyed by a random critical hit or something silly, um, I need to just take a break immediately after that battle, because I, I feel bitter for a while until I do. Okay, let's do it. Now, let's see if we can go ahead and catch whatever that legendary is. I should get some levels here, though, for sure. Ah. Purple Nectar. I haven't been able to really 
carry anything. Okay, here's O'Rourke. Let's take you out. Just use up Land's Wrath. We want to destroy... Yeah, get rid of this anyway. Dude, that's... I love, like, games like this in Pokemon Stadium, but, like, I know that when I play them, there is inevitably going to be... Oh, hang on. You know what? Maybe I'll just replace Blizzard. Who knows? Maybe this could save me, save me if I'm stuck. <laughs> there we go. Both are useless and gonna get replaced with something else anyway, but... What's this? Nah, you don't need Outrage. Cross Chop? Cross Chop? I play- speaking of Stadium, I know that's a bad idea. Okay. Okay, let's ignore you. Oh, hey, Torterra's there. Did you get to level 63? Okay, right. Zygarde and Dragonite are over the limit right now because of rare candies. Next gym battle, I'm gonna use this, do the same strat to Incineroar, I'd say. Let's have a look around. Electrode. Oh, you shouldn't really be able to hurt me. I can do this to you. Oh! The grass is officially scary here if I didn't have Zygarde. Nice. Well then. And that's why, why I'm freaking terrified of that. Satchets? Uh, that's for, like, uh, whatever the opposite of the whip dream is. Damn it. Well. It sounded like I got punched in the gut with that noise. Did it? Well, that sounds about right. Let's do this. I can dragon dance now, but it's not really necessary. Let's do this. Satchets are for aromatis, yeah. Ooh. That that duo of Pokemon has got to be one of the most forgettable, like, pairings I've ever seen. They're just, like, the most what? <laughs> They're not very pleasant-looking Pokemon. I got hit by Explosion, but Zygarde has massive defense, and Electro does not have high attack. Okay, that worked out pretty well. Free money. Yeah, we can ignore you. So, okay. <laughs> I can't. I already have two dragons. And a full team now. And there's a legendary coming up. If I get the legendary, I think it's either going to be Kadabra or Serena. It's very likely I could just not get the Link Cable and be stuck without... Uh, without Alkazam. Do you think I should even go for it, or should I go for the prep stop? Oh, no. Dude, I haven't been able to buy potions for an eternity. I also really need to buy those. I'm out of healing items. Except for a couple full restores. Oh, no. I don't- wait, I only have Pokeballs and other crappy ones. It's not even a guarantee I could catch it. I already used my Master Ball and Zygarde. I don't think I should go for the Legendary. Not to mention I have to fight a Team Aqua or Magma Grunt before that. Hmm. I'm going for this. I can only pick one. Okay. Hang on, I, can, I gotta sell some stuff now. I've been- yeah, getting a whole bunch of crap. Purple Nectar. Ring Targets. Who's that wouldn't have effect will land on its holder. I need that. Red Nectar. Eject Button. Don't know if I'll use this, but I'll sell two of them. 
Dark Gem, sell another one of those. The Aviolite sells for nothing. Ice Stones, sell two of those. Quiet Mints, I think I need those, so I'll just sell them. I got nine Bold Mints. I might need one, so you know what, I'll sell eight of them. Sassy Mint, sell five of them. Got Paralyze Heals, let's do this. Hmm. Looks like that covers that. I found a bunch of hidden powers. I'm probably not going to use these, so we'll just sell some of them. Shockwave, sell two of those. Okay, do I want hyper potions or max potions? I feel like I could use some full heals. Hmm. Take 12 of those. I feel like I'm just at the point I could still use these, so you know what? Give me 22 of them. And I feel like I should get some quick balls for later. Maybe some ultras too. If I need to catch and replenish later. Just in case I need them, do that. That, I think that should be okay. TM Shop has what now? I pretty much have most of this and don't need it. Skill Swap is there. Hmm, hang on. A couple of these just to use in the, of that. I could use Protect on Zygarde. I could get rid of Land's Wrath already, that's true. I think I might do that. It'd be a free Leftovers heal. Especially since I'll, I can Coil as well. Okay, let's try that. Protect. Okay, get rid of Land's Wrath. Thousand Arrows is the one that hits flying foes. So all we have left is Morty and Claire. Barry is on Dragonite. This could go bad. This could go bad. Let's do it. 75 is the current cap. Yeah, there we go. I removed the scarf a while ago. Waterfall 1. It's got a citrus berry now. Oh. Unfortunately, I don't have the ability patch yet. Hyper Beam. No, you don't need Hyper Beam. You're a physical attacker. All it takes is one bad crit. The top, how many of these do I have left? 43. Doing that to play it safe. 33 left. Hmm. Getting a little extra edge, but once the Elite Four stuff starts, I want to make sure my best Pokemon can just kind of go right to 100. Not that that hasn't backfired on me because of crits before, but you know. I want to make sure we have the advantage if we can. So... Here's the thing. It's 50-50 whether I can even use Fake Out. Maybe I should just lead with Double Dragon. Because if it's Morty, absolutely I'm not using Fake Out on anything. Zygarde can crunch. I'd, I'd say opening turn of Coil and Dragon Dance is the best play, maybe. Unless they go for, like, Will-O-Wisp or something. I'm just going for it. Let's do it. So, last gym leader next time. Okay, here we go. 
And she gets Rain Dance. She gets Rain Dance. Of course she does. Yeah, good thing I didn't put Incineroar up front. Let's go, lads. Coil. Dance. I'm already the fastest. Now I'm the, the strongest. Toxic, of course. Just heal that if I need to. Do I still have Shed Skin as this? Uh-oh. Mm-hmm. Well, that was, uh, cool. Oh, boy. I can just do that, huh? Well, then. Aqua Jet is boosted, but not much I can really use it here. Waste she wasted her Toxic, but... Now, what is Drampa gonna do now that's out of the commission like this? Go for Thousand Arrows, and I say... Icicle Crash on you. Drampa has an extremely high special attack. I don't remember that at all, but is what it is. It's going for Toxic. I'll heal up the heal that crap. Oh boy! Dude, what? You already are at minus two! There we go. Oh, fantastic. Okay, a thousand arrows, and with your turn... Oh boy, it's gotta be like scarfed or some crap. I don't know, full restore. Time to heal. More choice specs. Oh, that would be even worse, yeah. Yeah, get rid of this thing. Get rid of this thing. Lost an uh, entire Pokemon to that crap. Not quite so tall. Okay, no problem. Go for the arrows again. And not for you. Mm, it's raining, so I could go for Aqua Jet on Tyrantrum. Maybe that would kill it. Oh, damn, that did nothing. Well, this would be super effective. Maybe it could put him into the kill. I, I ha I'm at Coil, so I'm at plus one. Okay, good. Looks like it did bring it down. Uh-oh. Fantastic. Axorus breaks the mold. Go for it again. Heal the bear. Show that we care. Dude, everything in this... <laughs> you just can't get through this without losing a Pokemon sometimes. That's just how it is. The Executor definitely has choice specs on. Well, let's see. Nice. What? No! Oh, Teddy survived. I can't believe it. I can't believe... Oh, never mind. Never mind. Mm, does this look fair to you? <laughs> okay. Well then... At this point, sending in Incineroar to fake out, and then you turn out would be all right. It's not like it can do anything with, um... Executor can do anything, and I'm about to finish off the Haxorus. Let's do it. 
Okay. Thousand arrows. Do I want to just U turn out? Actually, if I fake out you. Hang on. Haxorus is slow as hell, right? There's no way it outspeeds both Zygarde and Incineroar, does it? <laughs> I'm a little worried now. Haxorus is kind of fast. Okay, then. Fake out you it is. Play it safe. I don't even remember if it outsped me. There's nothing the Executor can really do this turn anyway. It's still going for Leaf Storm? On Incineroar, of all things. It's definitely got choice specs on, too. Dragalge. Okay, a water move is probably coming out here, but we'll do this. Hmm. Hmm. Probably safe to tank with this. Well, it's probably going to kill it anyway. But I have Intimidate to switch back into if needed. Maybe. It's down. Oh, I win. I thought there was one more left. Holy moly. And now Morty's going to be the last one. He's going to have, like, Fairy Aura or some crap. Look in your future battles. Okay. Why'd I send Serena out against a poison type? Well, this might blow your mind, but when, um, I, it's raining and there's a Pokemon that can spam water moves against Incineroar, I don't think it's going to use a poison move on Incineroar. You see, that's only going to lead to a regular Mart. I should take these, Gloomy. Energetic, Calm Gloomy. Let's do it. Morty might have Psychic Terrain, which means no fake out. Damn, that's true. Luxury Ball. Hmm. Run! I lost two Pokemon during that. I have to catch something. Ah. At this point, next gym battle, I'm just gonna have to put my- use my candies to get Zygarde and Incineroar to level 100. Because otherwise I'm just gonna lose to another- oh. Damn. Don't need that then. At this point, I'm just gonna lose to something silly. Oh! Oh, hey, Rotom. I think I really need that. It started to hail. Maybe I should just put Beartick up front here, huh? Crunch it. I don't think you can change its form. You have to catch it like that. Psychic terrain ruins so many runs, yeah. I keep running into this thing. I already have my ice type. And Bruno will just slaughter me if I come up against it. Let me do this. That animation takes quite a bit. There's an unlockable NPC that actually changes it for you. Oh, does it? Also, I got Outrage now. I already beat Claire, though. I don't really need it. I mean, I could use it for Lance, but I'm probably better off just spamming Thousand Arrows. 81. Can't select target without rage, too. Also true. It's random target. That wouldn't work. There's Steel Worm. Is this all that's here? Because I gotta catch something. There's still one more thing I haven't seen. Don't really want to battle the trainers no more. Is Rotom. You have to unlock the NPC by beating the game with only legendaries, though. Okay. Oof. Stretch a little bit. 
I keep running into the dinosaur. But I can't find what I actually want to find. Started to hail. I don't think the worm Wormadam would make the uh make this team any better now. Ah, oh, rodent? That's it? I don't know if I can use this, but I might be able to paralyze something. It's got the typing. Pokemon is actually good. I generally don't know what it's used for, so let's throw it. It's legit fantastic, really. What does it do? Do I want two of them? Oh, it's got lightning rod. It can get fake out and nuzzle. Spiny Fern, its back is normally at rest when this Pokemon becomes agitated. Its fur stands on end and stabs into attackers. I may as well catch a second one to use at the maybe trade to Mr. Random. Or maybe not that. Oh, friend, we just went over here. We can't change Rotom's form. I can't catch a Rotom and then change its form for the upcoming battle. There we go. Gotta unlock that. More Rotoms. There we go. It's hailing. Crunch it! Most of the Pokemon here kind of suck. Looks like I haven't hit the level, level cap yet. I thought I did. Zygarde and Incineroar are absolutely going to level 100. <laughs> We're gonna need to do that. Okay, there's another Toga tomorrow. Well, let's grab it. One, two, three, boop. Toga Tomorrow has to be one of the most forgettable Pikachu clones because it's supposed to be the Pikachu for Gen 7, but everyone just uh, accepts that Mimikyu is actually the Pikachu of that gen. <laughs> Sometimes I forget that Mimikyu isn't supposed to be the Pika clone. Togedemaru's there, but no one cares about it, because it's just kind of exists. I'll slander it all day, you can't stop me. Max Ethers, I might want those. Dendene's the Gen 6 one. Hang on, I gotta throw something away. Probably won't need this. Or this. Rossberries. Taking some of those as well. Yeah. He's gonna have full range. You have to fight him. I had Kadabra up front. Right, right. Uh, Dragonite's dead. And it's hailing, so I should probably switch to Bear Tick. Okay. Could go Coil. Wait, Bear Tick's also dead. Damn it! <laughs> Why do I keep saying that? Oh, this isn't good. These are not the right Pokemon to have up front for this. We're dead. Yeah, Drampa, Draco Meteor, Choice Spect it. You know, that happens, you're just kind of dead. Sadly. My options for killing dragons are, uh, well, they have an option for killing my dragons, for sure, too. Okay, now it's Thousand Arrows, you. Power Whip, you, does it really matter? Yeah, just hit one of them. Whipped up Whirlwind, Razor Wind. No razor win for you. Okay, level cap has been hit. Let's see if we can finish the run. We'll try and get far. Uh-oh. Outrage. Okay, no problem.
My attack should be neutral, too, because I got hit by Intimidate and in the opening attack. Well fought. Okay. We gotta go through this now. See if there's anything to catch here. So, Toga tomorrow, what do you got? Lightning Rod. Iron Barbs. Looks like the first one's probably better. Uh, okay, this one's not good at good nature. What's a good nature for this thing? If I have to use it. Spiky shield. Oh, right. That's the protect that, um... Let's see here. That's the protect move that damages the opponent. Jolly's good for it. Pin missile. I don't know why you even have that. Hmm. And wild charge is there. It's gonna... They're gonna need some moves before they can be any good. A speed plus nature is a must. Well, they are what they are right now. Oh, hey, Jolly Mint. Isn't that what I need? What does Jolly do again? Up speed, reduces special attack. Isn't that literally perfect for both of them? Okay. I need to get to a tutor in the upcoming spot. Make them both fake out nuzzle users. What zing zap? I don't recognize that move. Name of the artist for the BRB screen? That was Hell Lobster. Don't need to fight any more trainers. We got enough money, I hope. Is Zygarde still brave? Uh, hold up a sec. Oh, let's check that. Zing Zap is Electric Waterfall. Better than Wild Charge, because no recoil and, and a flinch chance. Okay. Uh, what was I about to check? Zygarde's nature. Right, it is brave. Um, I should just give it the jolly nature, you think? Coil's gonna more than make up for the 10% boost on uh, other stuff, right? Okay, we'll put jolly on Zygarde as well for the remaining mint. Hold up. Up speed, reduces special attack. Let's do it. Let's do it. Damn it. No choice. They're gonna put a battle in front of me somewhere. Holy Whirl and Hydragon. Cool. And of course, Kadabra can't fight what's up ahead here. Just go for the Thousand Arrows, I would say. I don't get hit without Rage. Or I could Dazzling Gleam. Oh wait, Dazzling Gleam would hurt that thing badly. Yeah, it's Dragon Dark. I should kill it then. A thousand Arrows and everything. Dang! That did good damage on the Poliwhirl. I know I'm like 12 levels ahead, but jeez. I hope I can buy that link cable up next, because I need Alakazam now, dude. It's so... needed. Thank you for the sub there, friend. 50 months of moments and teddies. Uh-oh, Blastoise. And Whiskash. Okay, then. What's Thousand Arrows, you? And do I want to switch you into Serena? That might be the safest option here. Go for it. Damn, takes him down to half. Except when that happens, we'll just have to power whip the Blastoise now. Future Sight, that's not gonna help ya. Gonna need to refuel the PP for that when we get up ahead. Hang on, I need to catch something on this route. Don't I? No, I have the two Toga tomorrow. They're probably better than anything else I can find. 
Yeah, the two Toga tomorrow should be okay for the strats I'm going for, I hope. You think maybe I should just start using the Fake Out Pokemon to support Zygarde while it sets up for Coil and then sweeps with uh, that? Okay, we don't want to go there again. Turtle. Or coal with drought. That would have been good earlier, but we already got things set. Okay, we're at the exit. Nothing else from the grab here. Please have what I need. Enhancement. Wait, no. Is it held items that has it? Can't remember. Well, let's have a look. Maybe I should PP max um, Thousand Arrows as well. Do I need to change any mints or natures? I'm not sure I do. Link cable, link cable. There it is. Wait, what? Huh? What? Huh? When held. Oh, okay. When held. Why when held? Do I have to, like, give it a give it a candy now? <laughs> okay. What a weird... Why don't they... Why wouldn't they make it a use item? That bothered me. Well. I guess there's another reason to carry some extra candies. Because all the other trade items work like that. I mean, I guess, but, like, you know... I was worried for a second. Kinesis? He no. You don't want that. Okay. Ready with spoons? So, do I need to adjust anything here? What else should I give this? Is there any other moves I want it? Maybe check for choice specs as well? Oh, that might be a good idea. Hmm. Hmm. Because I'm not going to want to switch my moves up anyway. Hmm. Do you think I should give it Shadow Ball for Morty? Do I have that? Hold up. I don't. I have Thunderbolt. Can it learn that? It cannot. Never mind. What is... Sorry, what is Alakazam's hidden ability? Magic Guard? Okay. Maybe check the move tutors for it. Mega kick, ice punch, and all the other punches. Don't need those. Alkazam gets teleport confusion, psycho cuts, blah. Life Orb plus Magic Guard is great, but Specs are fine, too. You don't need the hidden ability with the Specs. What does uh, Magic Guard do again? I can't remember. Oh, you don't take damage from Toxic and Weather stuff. Okay. That does sound good. Skill Swap. Psychic Terrain. Hmm. I wonder if I want that. can only take damage from moves, is what it does. Okay, where's the ability patch? Was it here? Wait. Oh no, does he not have them? Uh-oh. He doesn't have them, does he? Uh-oh. Might as well put the odd incense back on, or this. This is also be nice. There's also Life Orb. That's more expensive. Oh, boy. I do have Trick, yeah. I could use that as a backup plan, since I don't really have any other moves for Alakazam. Okay. 
Okay, we'll put these on you. Now we need to get these two up to speed, but first let me sell a couple things so I have the money to do it. Impish, ups defense, reduces special attack. I need to clear the inventory. I'm just gonna sell some of this. Dark gems, not really using those, but you never know. Do that. Brave mints, sell four of them. Okay, so what were the moves Toga tomorrow once again? Iron Head. Oh, right. Fake Out for both of them. Get rid of Pin Missile for Fake Out. Now the second one. Fake Out. Pin Missile. Okay, Nuzzle, Zing Zap. Fake out and spiky shield. Anything here? Okay, here it is. An electrified impact that can cause flinching. So it's just electric type that. Hmm. Electric type waterfall over wild charge. Okay, finish the first one. Now, nuzzle is the guaranteed paralysis. That's right. It only has a power of 20, though. Hmm. I mean, I'm stupid fast, and it's good to do damage. It depends on the opponents, right? Okay. Break Focus Sash. Two, yeah. Okay, Fake Out, Spiky Shield, Zing Zap, and Nuzzle over Fell Stinger. Thunderwave also only has 90 accuracy now, that's true. Okay, first, put Nuzzle on over your Fell Stinger. Nah, I think I'll be fine giving them both Zing Zap. Okay, now what about Serena here? Can she get Trop Kick? Um, I could take that over Power Whip. Doesn't Power Whip not have the best accuracy either? Teeter Dance. Hang on a second. Does this also include my partner? I think it does. Romatic Mist. Raise the special defensive partner Pokemon. Drop kick beats power miss. High jump kick is also there if needed, but I'm not going to use that against a ghost. Keep bolt for now. I'm running out of money. High jump kick could help with Karen down the line, true. Hmm. Okay, what do you guys think? Do I even need Scale Shot with Claire, uh, Claire dead? I don't think so. This could be it. Oh, the last question. Hang on. We need to put... What's a good held item for the Toga tomorrow? I haven't given them anything yet. Ho, ho, ho. Focus Sash. I don't know if I could buy any of those. Were they there? Focus Sash, Focus Sash. N there's Focus Bands, but I don't see Sashes. Damn it. Okay. Maybe Wide Lens for Serena. Make sure I can get that freaking Hmm. Power Whip hit. I could just go electric gems for now. Eh. I don't even remember when I put on Serena. Laxincense, okay. Okay. I have an eject button, but how do I do anything with that again? If they're hit by the foot, right. Eject button for a toga tomorrow, you think? Oh, I already sold two of them. 
put that on you then. And buy an electric gem for the last one, I guess. This is where everything goes to crap again. Okay. And they all set up. Get the exact same speed stats, too. Okay. Last remaining thing. Maybe I should buy a PP Max for Zygarde. 4,000. You know what? Give me it. Oh, what a pain. Hyper Potion. Oh, wait, no, not Hyper Potion. Use up these remaining Super Potions just to get them topped up. No, I'm not going with Scale Shot. And what does this look like now? Out of 16, I don't even really need to restore it then with an Aether, but... I mean... This far in, it's not like I need, we need to worry about that, so we'll do that. Okay, we're ready to go. Now to fight Morty. Crunch is gonna kill Morty. So I shouldn't go with Alakazam. I think Incineroar and Zygarde should be okay together. And Darkest Larry at the Dragons, or sorry, not Dragons, Ghosts, can Crunch. But the main thing now is it's candy time. It's super candy time. Hang on a second. It is 85, right? Yeah, okay. Just, ma just making sure I'm not wasting anything. This is the part where I refuse to lose my lads. And the last ones... Just keep giving it to Alakazam. There we go. Let's give it a go. 99% prep time and 1% actually battling in this game. Okay, what's happening? Is this a terrain? Oh boy, Destiny Bond, my favorite. Okay, Palisand. Okay. Do I crunch first? Or sorry, not crunch first, or coil first. I should be able to take hits, can always protect after Darkest Lariat. Oh. Get rid of you first. Okay, you're buffing, so I've gotten rid of you, assuming you don't have a ridiculous <laughs> ridiculous sash or something. Okay, good, you're down. Stealth rock, okay. Five left. Oh, you know, just casually have a Mars Shadow. What type is that thing? I don't even remember. I think I should probably uh, get rid of it. Ghost fighting, that's right. Ice punch! Ooh. Well, it's down. Oh, hey, Toxic, cool. It's full restore time. Stay with us, Zygarde, stay with us. Oh, hey, it's a Lowland Marowak. Cool! Hmm, at this point, Thousand Arrows would actually be really good against the two of them. So I can do that, and also just use the full restore to make sure you're topped up. Let's do it. Marowak's protecting. But we can just hit the other one. Good job, idiot. 
crunchy crust audio. Uh-oh. That's not good. That's not good. Stop that. Don't do that. Leftovers. Oh, we, you won't need to worry about that again. That's Darkest Larry at you. Take him out! Alola Marowak down. Alisan down. Should have just used the turn to heal, apparently. Two left. Dust Noir. Uh, wait, what? That, what was that? That looked like a glitch. And Gorgeist. Let's get him. Don't want to flare blitz myself right now. It was Frisk, but it looked uh, a little messed up there. It frisked Palisan, which was weird. Wait, what? What is this? What move is this? Ulberberry. Gen 8 ghost move. Okay, I don't recognize that one. Crunch him and win. There's Poltergeist, powerful ghost move. Oh, it's Poltergeist's uh, signature move, wasn't it? Okay, all gym leaders down. It's 110 power, only works if opponent's holding an item. Okay. Good luck in your future battles. Gym master complete. There's a grass thing there. Do I want something there? Not really, I've got my team set. It looks like I'm going right into the shops and then right into battle. I just did a bunch of battle prep. I could just go ahead and buy full restores now. I'm going to do that. Mr. Random's not here. Shadow Ball TM. I should check for that. Wait, would I need Shadow Ball in the um, Elite Four? Um, For Will, I probably would. It's not here, is it? It's... I didn't get it. Oh, there it is. Never mind. Check out the TMs. Shadow Ball is there. Now, what was the... Right, I guess I don't really need Future Sight with uh, Choice Specs. Okay, let's get rid of it. Now to spend a little bit of money on some full restores we need. Bro, I have nothing that left to really sell, do I? Brave mints. I guess I could sell the remaining ones of these. Some of those. TMs I don't need. One just in case. One just in case. Ale. Don't really need those no more. Some of those. That's the Pokeball guy. What am I doing? I need the general guy. That's what I need. Two more of these. I guess two... You know what? I may as well just buy two more of these. Hang on. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Didn't I sell most of the evolution items? What do you mean? Like Electrizer? You can just dish them. Oh. Alright. Why did I go over there to sell? I don't know what the hell I'm doing. I'm gonna buy one more full restore. Okay. Next battle, and then I should take a break. Stress levels are rising. This game is spend three to four hours getting to the Elite Four, and then cry when you die in three to four seconds. Eevee Light sells for like seven fifty. There's even a point to selling it. All right, let's go, lads. 
It's a mighty trainer. Oh, look, we got Ghost first. Or Will, sorry. It's Phoebe's room, though. And he's got Terrain. Okay, Psychic Terrain blocks priority, right? What was the other thing it did? Boost Psychic moves. Focus Blast is gonna kill Incineroar with a crit. Just watch. Oh, yep. Okay. Intimidate's been activated. Focus Blast is absolutely coming. Let's coil. Maybe switch right away. Bro, it's not the best idea here. I need to just go for it and get him, don't I? Or you turn out. Attack rose, defense rose, accuracy rose. Oh, that's scary. Can't fake out. Psychic terrain. Rocky helmet. X, of course. Okay, if I send in Alakazam. Hmm. Zygarde's faster. I could Crunch and Dazzling Gleam. That would guarantee to kill, wouldn't it? I have choice specs, though, so wouldn't I want a Shadow Ball so I can make sure to hit the following opponents? Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, I'd say I should do Shadow Ball. Uniclus is using this. Hmm. So if I... Hang on a second. If I Thousand Arrows, I could probably kill the Reuniclus as well. Would Thousand Arrows and Shadow Ball be enough? It, it should. I'm plat plus one attack. Okay. We'll hit them both, and then I'll Shadow Ball you to make sure you die, because you're going to do something mean. Let me see here. Let's go. Or Alakazam can almost just finish it himself. Let's do it. I'm glad I didn't get destiny bonded again at Morty. That would really suck. Wait, what? Oh, they weren't at the level? Oh, that's right, there's no Chansey person anymore. Okay, Espeon. I should be able to outspeed that. Oh, that's a problem. Do I go for Crunch, or do I go for Thousand Arrows to hit them both? I'm at plus one, and Espeon's chunky. Or not chunky for physical defense. <sighs> if I, I could spread the damage. Hmm. And make sure I get rid of the Latios. I'm gonna do that. Espeon Dazzling Gleaming would suck, yes, but let's go for it. Come on, hit them both. Kill them both, I should say. Yeah, I'm not- I don't want to get hit by Draco Meteor again. We're getting rid of that thing. Ooh, so close. I had to pick and choose which one died. Substitute- Ooh, that's great. That's great. Oh, come on! You see why the Elite Four is so soul-crushing? Okay, let's do this. Remember when Drake had, like, four or five legendaries and megas together? I'm careful. I gotta be careful of Ice Beam, I know. That's why we're getting rid of them like this. The Elite Fork U. <laughs> yeah. Let's go. I waited forever to use this Alakazam. You just... Yeah, okay, half his team was legendaries. So that's that. This was a clean fight. Dude. This fills me with a bit of hope. And it's gonna take it away in the next battle. Okay. Lead four will. Well, Thought Trainer. Opium. Yeah, we'll call it that. Remember last time I did a run? I think Will had Mewtwo. And he just Aura Sphered something I had that was supposed to take him out. Okay, I haven't even used the Toga tomorrow. It looks like maybe I should go to a battle prep stop next. Anyways, I'm back from a quick break. Now let's go ahead and resume this. I'm just gonna do this. Tough, breezy route. No problem. We'll pick up some items and move on, but we want to try and avoid some trainers if we can. Things could be a little rough if we aren't careful. 
There's no reason to get every single thing here. I bought the items I need, but I do need to beat up some wild Pokemon just to give everyone three levels. Let's take you out. Yep, fixing my posture, sitting just fine. I still lost my Dragonite. I'm a little upset about that. Oh. It lived. Alright, everyone's at level 91. That is the current cap, I believe. Dude. This right here is just punishing people that don't have Surf unlocked yet. That's just mean. Nice, three max potions are good. Turtle! Didn't realize Squirtle was my other surfing encounter. Oh, the flower shop routes away around, you're right. And they put that there, too. Just to be in the way. Uh -huh. We don't need to fight you. We're already max level. We don't need their money. At this point, the Team Aqua and Magma members might just have freaking um, legendaries, too. So, Oh, no. I feel a sneeze coming. Oh, that thing. I often forget that this is even a Pokemon. Okay, I need a patch. Yeah, not talking to you. <laughs> not talking to you. He doesn't have any. Oh, he does. Hang on. I need to sell some stuff, though. Okay. Super repels. We don't need any of those anymore. Hmm. that too. We need this for Magic Guard. Now, what else did I need to do while I was here? Was there anything else I needed from this place? I don't know. Magic Guard. There we go. Life Orb, I guess. I mean, do I want the Life Orb for Alakazam? Wait, wait a second. Hang on. Does Magic Guard prevent the Life Orb from taking HP? I don't actually know. Yes, yes, it does. Really? That sounds stupid. Let's do it. Can I even afford a Life Orb, though? That sounds really silly. You think that would be an exception there? Life Orb, a Life Orb, cost 8,000, right? Dude, it's like at the frickin' bottom. Yep, time to sell some goodies again. And give Alakazam Protect instead of Trick, though. I don't have any more Protect TMs. There we go. Don't really need Dragon Claw anymore. There we go. They don't sell them here? Uh, let me see. No, they don't sell. They don't sell uh, TMs here. I know I can sell the dire hits too. It doesn't really matter right now. I could get energy ball from the tutors if it would let me. I'll we'll have to see. No, oh, I must have passed. I was holding down for a while because it's so far down here. Okay, Life Orb acquired. I gotta sell more stuff, though. Now then. Need a few thousand more. Sell the Dire Hits. That'll do. Spooky Plate. Perfect. Alakazam, what can you learn? Focus Blast, Expanding Force. 
Power goes up and damages all foes on psychic terrain. I don't know if I need that now. Dynamic punch, ice punch. Nope, don't see anything there. I don't know if I can get energy ball. Just put Thunder Wave on, maybe. If it's literally the only thing here, I can check, maybe. Hmm? Thunder Wave over Trick it is, then. Was it here? Goodbye, Trick. It's something. Okay. If that's the case, I think we're all good now. Hmm. So who do we have next for the Elite Four? Um, Will's defeated, so there's Bruno, Karen, uh... Uh, oh my god, I'm drawing a freaking blank. Koga? Does Koga- is Koga here? Or does he count as a, re as a Kanto gym leader? I don't actually know what the game does for this, when it's only set to Johto-only people. Lance is E4, but wouldn't he be the champ here too? I don't know- I don't know what the game actually does for this. We're gonna have to see. Hmm... Do you think I should leave with Incineroar or Alakazam? I'm not sure. Because uh, if I get Bruno, he's gonna fighting type hit Incineroar. No, he's fake out. And let's just go for it. Purple room? It's Agatha, isn't it? No, it's Koga. And he's got some kind of terrain. Let's do it. Let's get far. As far as we can. Toxicroak and Venusaur. Okay. I'd say fake out the Toxicroak while I use turn one coil. And then he's getting swept by the arrows. Let's do it. Everyone believe in me. Hold up your bears. Coil. Fake out you. Okay, attack, defense, and accuracy up. Oh, Venusaur's got Earth Power. That's why we got a vest. And, okay. Now we're gonna Thousand Arrows, and we're gonna U-turn. Life Orb, Venusaur. Get him! Don't have a bear, does a Snorlax squash a mellow count? Yep, sure, give it a hug. Why not? Oh, now U-Turn has no target. <laughs> Oops, too powerful. Toxapex, Water Poison. And Drapion. Okay. Thousand Arrows, just U-Turn one of them, it doesn't matter. Bro, we sweeping. This snake is on fire. Oh. Well then. Oh, damn it! Okay, that's fine. Rocky Helmet, of course. <sighs> but here's the problem. Now that I've done that, Drapion's a dark type. He's not gonna he's not gonna have been planning to use a dark type move on um Incineroar. Should be fine. He already used a move, did he? What, what would he use? Oh, right, he knocked off Zygarde. I thought that was the other Mon for a second. Uh, that's the Ultra Beast that looks like Lily, right? I, I don't know what type that is. I'm assuming it's part poison if Koga has it. Rock poison. Okay, what's its ability? Thousand Arrows... Damn it, I can't Psychic Drapion, but he's the one I need to hit. Beast boost, right, 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 right.
Thousand Arrows will kill it anyway. So let's just get rid of the use Psychic. I'm overthinking this. Uh-oh. Ooh, did it have frickin' ice? Either way, we got this. Stay with us, Mr. Dragon. Oh, fantastic, this thing. It's dragon poison, right? Hmm. Yes, okay, so I could just protect and Alakazam could kill it. It's, hang on, it's fast? Is it faster than Alakazam, though? Because I want to say it's going to target Zygarde. Not faster than Alakazam. Okay, let's try this then. Protect. Psychic. Well then. Okay. I should switch then. It's probably going to Draco Meteor and Josiah Maybe I should sack one of the rats. Because if this Psychic doesn't kill, I'm not risking another under one of those. Let's do it. Let's do it. I didn't realize it had, like, patterns on its back like that. Oh, my... No! Oh! Hang on. Hang on. Um, please tell me Fake Out still works, right? Um, right? It, it does, I, I think. It's priority. I switched, but it's a new turn now, right? Doesn't it, like, uh, work fine? Yes, okay, I'm just making sure, because I'm panicking. Okay, no one died. Amazing. The mouse did a thing. Now then. I should get my levels from the routes, but... Hmm, if I go... Dude, if I go through there, I gotta fight a hard trainer, then I get access to rare battles. I'm just going here. TM hails, more sellables. Lepa berries. Let's get some stuff. I've almost had many... Ba uh, yeah, I've barely had any full rest stops this entire run. Oh, hey, three life orbs. That would have been useful earlier. Oh, boy. Now this should be easy to kill. Let's do it. Good enough. Okay, everyone got their three levels. They've reached the cap now. Big pearls. Damn it. Fighting trainers at this stage is way too scary. Like, I've had times where I fight the trainers during the Elite Four, uh... Elite Four sections, and they'll just have full-on legendaries, and I get destroyed by crap. It's best to just get this done and over with now. What? There's land here? Okay. Okay, we made it. Is there anything left at the rest stop here for me to get, though? Um, did was there anything left? I don't actually know. Leftovers, assault vest, a wide lens. Why does Incineroar have a ribbon? I don't actually know why. Because it died? Does it do that? I can't- I don't think I can check that, no. I don't have the Pokenav menu act uh, on the here. Yeah, on the menu here. I can't check Pokenav, that's what I'm trying to say. 
I don't think... There isn't anything else I need to buy, is there? You got wide lens on you. I did want to get focus sashes for these two, didn't I? That's pretty much it. How much do those cost, though? And do they get consumed? They shouldn't, I hope. Focus sash, focus sash, focus band. Oh, nice. Do you think I should leave the eject button on the first one, actually? Hmm. I'm not quite sure. Yeah, alright. This one will get a focus sash, then. This is pretty much all there is to do here. The team is all set up. Okay, so we beat Koga. It seems like it's likely Bruno could be the next one. Bruno or Karen. In that case, maybe I should lead with Alakazam, because I can Psychic Bruno's Pokémon, and I can Dazzling Gleam Karen's Pokémon. Sucker Punch might be a little scary if it happens. Well, it's set the Johto only. Uh, Agatha shouldn't be showing up. Mm. Yeah, I think this will be all right. I feel like leftovers never seems to be happening, though. Like, ever. Mighty Trainer. Yeah, it's Bruno. New challenger. Don't hold back now. Hoo-ha, everybody! Now, what legendary? He's probably gonna have a Cup Boo. Or whatever it evolves into. Infernape and Hitmon top. Okay. Well, I intimidate, you intimidate. Hmm. I wonder if I should switch to Intimidate then. They're not gonna use a. They're not gonna use a fighting move, but hmm. Hmm. Hope he doesn't have Como. Dazzling Gleam will be good. If I immediately go for a thousand arrows, would I even kill him? Probably. I feel like I ought to coil once and just psychic the Infernape. Infernape's got the fake out. And it life orbed. I guard. Oh, Hitmontop's going toxic. Of course it is. Wait, no, I have Magic Guard. That doesn't work on me. Ooh. We're lucky. Oh, crap. What type is this? I'm guessing part fighting. Okay, I didn't get to use this because of that. I don't... It, it, it's bug fighting. Okay. So in that case, I will coil and I will psychic you. Better yet, I need to get rid of... I need to get rid of the... Hang on. I need to get rid of him on top. Let's just... I could use Protect, actually. Because it's pro... The hit on top's probably going to try and use Toxic on Zygarde. So I could just go Psychic on you and do this. And I'll probably be safe. Okay. Yep, I called it. Oh, fantastic, bro. You're Bruno. You're Bruno. Okay, bug fighting again. Okay, two down. Alakazam is going going to town. Unfortunately, because of Hitmontop's Intimidate, my attack is only at, um, plus one. Okay, no problem. No problem. Ah. Oh. <laughs> Dude. Oh. Everything, huh? Fine, let's do this. Ah! 
How did it go that fast? Is it scarfed? Oh, I gotta get Alakazam out or full restore it or something. No! Bro! Would not be able to outspeed Alakazam without a scarf. Yeah, you're telling me. And last one's Gallade. Hmm. <sighs> Rap. Did a good job. I could send in you for Intimidate. I'm worried about getting close combat at a crit again, though. What about, what does Serena have again? Not really anything for fighting types. Galea can also have inner focus. Hmm. Hmm. Galea doesn't get it, only Mega Galea does. All right, let's do this. Got their attack. That was Narrows and Fake Out Gallade. Zygarde outspeeds, we win. Okay, last one. Gallade flinched, we win. Good lord. Isn't that fun? Isn't that fun how Bruno sent out three legendaries in a row and then the final one was Scarf to kill my freaking Alakazam? Dude, that's so upsetting. That was so upsetting, man. That's why this game is so hard to play all the time. Because, oh! I can get him back and then go to a Mart stop. I gotta do it. What do we have? No! Yes. Sorry, Teddy. I think I think we need the dragon back. I mean, I don't think Bear can really do anything at this point. It it could be good for Lance, but like I, I feel like Dragonite's probably better. Like Dragonite's super weak to ice, but all it takes is one stupid, like, move to kill Bear Tick as well. Now let's hope we don't get cursed. Seventy. Damn. I need to get its level up. Bear Tick's way more fragile. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I need to get another ability patch for you, too. So we get no opportunity to get levels. This is gonna suck. I'm not trading the dragon. I'm not trading it. Hang on, but I should heal it. If I can just get a kill in Bruno's fight, then um, that would give bring everyone up to speed on levels. Zygarde and Cinderor need to lead and get something. Sorry. Who, who's left? Karen. That's right. It has to be Karen. Crap. All I should really buy is just some more, um... Hmm. Buy more of these, I guess. I guess that's that. We gotta go in now. If I would have went to the other way, I wouldn't have been able to use the PC, which means I'd be not have a Pokemon in that final slot. I can't really use the ability patch on a Pokemon I don't have in that case. 
All right, here we go. It's gotta be Karen. Oh, I could have. Wait, I could have chosen either dress stop. Oh, is that what you mean? Okay. Well, it doesn't really matter now. Let's get him. I get her. Yep, there she is. And she has a terrain or something. I need to get the kill so Dragonite gets up to 97. And the rest of the team gets to 97, too. No Dazzling Gleam to deal with her, though. Oh, that's not good. I don't like seeing that. Mm, no, 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 I don't. So I think uh, using Fake Out on Darkrai is probably a good idea. Probably a very good idea. Okay. Let's damage it right away. Oh my god, are you serious? Bro! I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> that was mean. Oh, it took the best off. Okay. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. It's probably gonna go for knockoff, honestly, so... I should Thousand Arrows again, and you turn into you, and send in one of the Toga Tomorrows. So that way, if, dark, if the real Darkrai comes out, I'll be able to fake, uh, fake out it. I didn't, it didn't even cross my mind that it could be a Zoroark imposter. Oh, nice. No, you don't need that. You're gonna miss. Okay, everyone's at 97. I lost my leftovers. Okay, both are down. Okay, Toga tomorrow with a Jack button, then send an Incineroar again to do the stuff. The rest of them are going to be legendaries now. Oh, no. Pound Doom. Bisharp. Okay. I'm expecting that. A uh, thousand arrows will slaughter both of them. Maybe I should just... That yeah, doesn't matter. Bisharp's protecting. Didn't matter. Yeah, I don't want to switch and intimidate with a Defiant Pokemon active. That'd be bad. Okay. Protected itself. There it is. Crap. Now, I could go Thousand Arrows. Bisharp will probably die. And then... Do I go for Nuzzle, Guaranteed Paralysis, or do I go for Zing Zap and hope I get the flinch off that? I'm gonna nuzzle him. We're gonna give him a kiss. Oh, he's nasty plotting. Of course he outspeeds everything. He's Darkrai, of course. Of course. I'm just glad Dark Void didn't just go off. <laughs> I wasn't gonna outspeed him for Zing Zap anyway. Yeah. Come on. Oh, it didn't kill. Critical hit, nice. No! Send in the other one, and we can, we can, now we can fake out the dark ride. We got him. I had a sash anyway, but that's fine. Okay, thousand arrows, fake out you, dude. We got him. This is perfect. I I should be crying in a corner from a from a dead run right now. Did I plan that? Of course I did. I'm a big brain genius. Last one. No legendaries except for Darkrai. Sandstream, none of that affects me. I'm good. Thousand arrows. I could spiky shield. Mm. I'm steel type and I have a, a focus sash. I could nuzzle the first turn and the next turn, Spiky Shield. K 
case this doesn't kill. What's he doing? Oh, he's got a berry? Dude, you had Shuka Berry and not the frickin' fighting type one? They knew. Nuzzle time. Okay. Rock Tomb. Dude, it has nothing. It's using Rock Tomb on Zygarde. This is a victory lap now. Okay. It's over. I may as well just go for Zing Zap. I was expecting Earthquake, yeah. This thing totally would have Mega Evolved if uh, I had that enabled, yeah. Okay, we're going to the champ. You know what that means? That means I gotta open up music in another tab because I have to mute the champion battle themes. Oh! Full rest stop. Do I... Do I trade Serena for Alakazam? I think I should. I think I should. <laughs> what has Serena done? She's not gonna do anything to dragons either. Absolutely. And I get a full rest stop after this. Please, please. No! What? Oh! I'm sorry, but why are these random starters here and not my, not my uh, Alakazam? That's a little unfair. <laughs> like, aren't those supposed to be default options if it doesn't have that there? I'm genuinely kind of worried if that's a glitch or something. It's a little broken, actually. Oh, okay. I am playing the most up-to-date version, by the way. Okay, it's full heal. Is there anything else I need to buy or change? I think I could just spend all my remaining money on hot max or full restores and stuff, can I? That might be it now, huh? Take these to passively heal at the end if needed. No, Dragonite doesn't have extreme speed. Okay, are you guys ready? I needed a thing for Dragonair. I haven't had a Dragonair in several hours, friend. There we go. What did I need for it? Oh, right, ability patch, you're right. Confused what you need, what you meant. That is, like, the only thing left I need. Okay, we can sell some stuff for it. Hang on, I should have some TMs to throw away. Ability patch cost, like, 8,000 or something, didn't it? I don't remember. Let's just sell these. Sweethearts. Oh, wow, these sell for a bit, don't they? Okay. Let's get the patch. Wrong thing. Let's do it. Patch, patch, patch. Okay. With that, I'm pretty much a demon now. Next is Lance, for sure. Multi-scale. Okay. Hmm. I might need a legendary between champion and red. That's also true. I could lose a Pokemon and need to catch another. I'm not going to be able to afford that, but I could get Quick Balls. I already have a couple, though, so... Could just get more Ultra Balls in this case. Whatever. Okay, we're about to come up to the champion, so hang on, I need to open a tab. Okay, I've got music starting. 
or ready to start, I should say, when we get to the champ. What do you guys think I should do for a lead? Um, I want to say start with Dragonite here, because what I could do, so now that I have multi-scale, is I could turn one Dragon Dance. And then just get ready to frickin' hit. Hmm. But what if it's, what if it's, um... I mean, could I tank an Ice move? You think maybe it's better to lead with Incineroar? I mean, honestly, both are pretty viable, especially since Incineroar is at 100. Let's do it. We can. We only got one shot at this. We haven't been doing any save scum. Ready. Non-stab ice. Yeah, true. Okay. Hello, Lance. There you are. A new challenger. Excellent. Don't hold back now. Get your bop and teddies ready. It's battle time. Sheer cold's not gonna matter what, it, what what the opponent's type is. It's just gonna instantly KO. Oh, that's a start. Oh, is this how it ends? Probably. Okay then. Well, we used Intimidate. Hmm. I could go Coil, but odds are, Haxorus is probably going to slaughter me. I could fake out the Haxorus, go for Coil. Hmm. Or I could just immediately start with Thousand Arrows and hit it for damage. Hmm. Is Giratina bugged in this game? I don't know anything about that. Either way, I can't fake out Giratina. I can crunch Giratina, but I need to kill Caxorus before it frickin' slaughters the whole team. Am I even safe using Coil, though? That's the problem. Hmm. They're both intimidated. That's also true. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, fake out Haxorus. Your Bop and Teddies are ready. Beat sitting here in silence while Jim Jones claims my video for the 10,000th time. Okay, it's going Will-O-Wisp. That's annoying. Haxorus flinched. Now then... Could do this now. Hit him with a thousand arrows. But I'm burned now is the problem. Hmm. Should be okay. I also could just protect this turn, since they're probably gonna target Zygarde, but what if they go for Incineroar? No, I need to kill it. Oh, come on. Hmm. Do I go for Darkest Lariat on Haxorus? This is a problem. I need to damage it. Just go! Hit it! There we go. I know I'm not gonna kill while burned, but I gotta go for it. I was hoping for the crit. Damn it. Defog. Uh-oh. Evasiveness fell. Oh! Damn it! Okay. Okay, it's down. Now I just got a full restore. Everyone's at level 100. We're ready. HP restored and burned a little, but that's okay. Now who's the next one? Oh, hey, it's Latios. How's it going, girl? You're gonna Draco Meteor me. Hmm. I could protect this turn first just to see what they go for. And then Darkest Lariat, Latios. Because they're probably going to try and go Draco Meteor on Zygarde first. Yep, I called it. And Giratina's using Toxic. Giratina's the freaking uh, support mod, apparently. If that's the case. Okay. Zygarde's now safe. We're good. Come on. Toxic, Will-O-Wisp, Defog. Does it even have any other moves? Or is it just going to do that over and over? Oh, come on, dude. Okay, here's what I'm thinking. I go for Thousand Arrows, and Incineroar's turn, full restores... Uh, full resort... Eh, full restores Zygarde. I should be okay. I don't know if it's safe to switch right now. 
They're, I feel like they're gonna keep targeting... They're just gonna keep targeting Zygarde. That's the problem right now. Okay. Problem is, what if they go Draco Meteor again? Dude. <laughs> this is why the no item run is so brutal for this. Okay, let's go. This is BS? Yeah. This is every Pokemon Emerald Rogue stream. I have fun for the first chunk, and then I get to the end, and I'm like, why? <laughs> why did I do this to myself again? Please kill, please kill, please kill. Oh, no. Okay. Giratina is using Defog again. I don't know what its fourth move is. Oh, Life Orb. Okay, no problem. No problem. Cernor is taking damage, but that's okay. Do this again. I need you topped up for the inevitable Draco Meteor coming. Come on. Zygarde is not dying here today. I just need to get these legendaries removed. I only really show got opportunity for one legendary. I didn't want to risk going for a second one that showed up. Okay, Reshiram's dead. It can go away. It's going Will-O-Wisp again. I thought so. I need to get Incineroar out now. What's left? Two, three, uh, two left. Oh, but, oh, of course. Just Kyurem Black. I had to make sure the whole boys were here, too. One way or another. Cheating a little bit of extra spots here. Hang on a second. Okay, the music's resetting. Just making sure. I just don't want to, like, a freaking ad playing while it's going, you know? He needs to chill. Yes, he does. Okay. I'd say I should go protect again and see what Kirin Black goes for. Dude, I need to get Incineroar out of there, too. Do I full restore, or do I swap in? Hmm... Will you... T hang on. For you turn though, should I outspeed Kurum Black? I certainly hope I freaking do. Hold up. What did I do again? Okay, I protected. We're gonna U-turn you. Let's do it. Earth power! Oh, no. Ooh. Life orb, too. Okay, I gotta full restore you on your when you're on backup, for sure. Okay, a little bit of damage there. It's gonna earth power the rat as well. Wait, did it consume the eject button? It did! It actually did! Oh, that's unfair. Okay, Th if this Toga tomorrow comes in with its focus sash, it can fake out. Yeah, I can fake out Kurum Black and probably finish it off with um that, but I'm burned is the problem. Let's do it. Oh, boy. I'll just have to do enough damage. Okay. Keep Thousand Arrows. Fake out. And then I should try and nuzzle things, maybe. A critical hit would be nice. We know it's got Life Orb, though. Come on, little rodents. It's your day to shine. Of course, it's going... Oh, well, goodbye, Focus Sash. So much for that. Do I keep going for it? Probably should. I should maybe out... Hmm... If it's... Mmm... I mean, they're not gonna go for a physical move, so I don't know, I don't know about this. It seems like they're targeting Toga tomorrow. It's probably gonna go for Earth Power again. So... I'll wear him down with the... With the Thousand Arrows. Let's do it. Come on. Just one more. Okay, we know I'm gonna outspeed. Kieran Black is dead. So you know what I- Wait, you know what I should do? 
Use thousand arrows and uh, cure cure Zygarde's burn. Let's do it. Okay, thousand arrows, and they'll both be gone. Okay. Get him. Get him. Giratina staying alive right now is good for me. He's just gonna keep burning me over and over, but there's only one Pokemon left anyway after this. It doesn't matter. He can go. It's better to get rid of him now that the team's almost dead. Last Mon, who is it? <laughs> What type is this? I want to say it's Dragon Steel. Again, I'm not familiar with the, um... I'm not familiar. It's Steel Flying? I... Oh, I can still hit it. Okay. Um, I'm not familiar with the Ultra Beast typing. Okay. It's Nuzzle Time, bro. Oh, wait, no, I can Spiky Shield this turn. Oh, boy. Break it down. Fell down. It tried to flamethrower. Okay. Thousand arrows. We win. Uh, I do, right? If it's gonna go for flamethrower, I can also just switch in you in case things don't work out. Everyone believe in the rodents and the double dragons. We did it! Oh boy. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Now I gotta turn the music back on. Oh, hang on. <laughs> you guys can't hear it, there you go. Well thought, trainer. Now, considering I, I at least am making it to red, I guess. You know, we can call it today a victory. I didn't lose any Pokemon, so we're going to the full rest stop. Look at this team. All these big boys and, and girl and two rats. Oh, wait, no, Dragonite's also a girl. And Zygarde's a they, sorry. There we go. Well, full rest stop it is. I don't need to level up anymore. Ragtag group of misfits. There's nothing else for me to buy. Hold on, I need to give the second rat another item, right? Um, let me give it the other Focus Sash, since it got consumed. Hang on, hang on, where is it? There it is. I haven't, like, really used this Serena. There's nothing else to really sell, right? Dawnstone. Electric Gem, not really. Oh, I had that many. Red gonna have a Mewtwo, bro. He's gonna have a... Mm -hmm. He's gonna have everything, because he's a bully. Well. Are you guys ready? Bro, did you see that Lance fight? His team was disgusting. Some of you thought Bruno was pushing it, and then you just saw that crap. Oh, well. This is certainly better. I don't remember how I lost the previous run. I, I think it was during the Elite Four. Something silly happened, right? Okay, Red could have a mix of, like, literally anything, so... I think Zygarde and Incineroar to lead are probably the best bet. I could potentially set up with Dragon Dance, but we don't know. It's probably better to fake out. Yeah, fake out with Incineroar, let Zygarde coil, and hopefully we can put this to bring the thing to bed. Are you ready? Get your moomins, get your teddies, and get ready. All right, hello, Red. I'm back. There we go. There he is. Oh, it's not. Oh no, this game isn't nearly much as cheating as uh, Crystal Kaizo or anything like that. Champion Red would like to battle Klefki and Salazzle. That's not what. That wasn't on my bingo card. Oh boy, we gotta get rid of Klefki, though. 
It's probably gonna prankster, so I can I even like fake out it. Hmm. Hmm. Using thousand arrows right away might be a better setup here. Hang on. Fake out you. Hmm. Fake out would be faster. Okay. So Lazzle can't outspeed Zygarde, right? I'm pretty sure, right? Because I think Klefki is going to go for something stupid, so I need to stop it. And then Thousand Arrows should just, like, slaughter the two of them, especially Salazzle. Hmm. Okay. Salazzo can also have Fake Out. Oh, uh, well, we're going to have to... We're going to have to go for it. Okay, keys are faked out. Flinched. Okay, come on. Two free... Two free kills. Let's do it. Right now. Clefki lived? Damn. Oh, boy. Tapu Fini. I don't know what type this this one is. Misty Surge. Oh, now we have Fairy Battlefield. Okay. Water Fairy. Okay, if that's the case. It's gonna, it's gonna go for a Fairy move on Zygarde. So you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna protect, and then I'm gonna U-turn the keys. We need a Toga Demaru in. Damn it, it's reflecting. Oh, it went Ice Beam. Yeah, I need to kill that thing somehow. Wait, 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 wait. Um, how fast is it? Do you think Serena could get in there and just power whip it? Uh. I can't send a Dragonite like this. Oh, bro. Uh, no status conditions will be able to go off like this. Okay, so I can't nuzzle her. Fake out is safer. Okay. Let's do it. Double dragon? What about double rodents? Has anyone, like, picked up on that yet? What's next? Gorgeous. Bro, what is this red team? Fairy, fairy red. Okay, then. Now, the question here is... Okay. Tactical rats. Hmm. What do I do now? Zygarde could go for... Could go for a thousand arrows. And fake out, and then protect next turn. Okay, here's what we'll do. Thousand arrows. Fake out. Tapu Fini. Let's do it. You gotta be careful. We don't know what Florges is gonna do yet. Don't worry. Damn, that did nothing! Moonblast! Damn, I should have seen that coming, in all honesty. Zygarde is not equipped to deal with this fight, sadly. Okay. Switching Zygarde... No, I can protect this turn, actually. Hang on. I can protect this turn and switch next. And we're gonna try and Zing Zap Tapu Fini. Let's do it. And then the next turn, Zygarde's gonna switch to Incineroar. Yeah, they really want to. They really, really want to freaking hit um, Zygarde. Okay, this is fine. Okay, Zygarde, we're switching back to you. Incineroar. Not that the um. Hmm. I can't paralyze them because the the terrain prevents it. Let's do this. Good enough. I'm worried about a critical moon blast or whatever, though. It's gonna be neutral on Incineroar, right? This can also maybe make you flinch. Oh, yeah, I got you. I didn't think that would kill you somehow. Here it comes. But I can fake out with Incineroar now. It's as if the game made this team just for just for Incineroar. Sorry, not Incineroar. Up, uh, Zygarde. Okay. Now then. Who's the bigger threat now? Uh. Mandibuzz can't be nuzzled because it's flying. Wait, what? Really? I thought nuzzle wouldn't work because of the terrain, though. Hang on. 
Oh, it can be nuzzled, actually. Really? Because it's not touching the terrain. Oh, I get you. Okay. If that's the case, I'll fake out Florgis. Stop it from hitting things. And then we will nuzzle Mandibuzz. Okay, I understand now. I'm still... I, my only experience with terrain is whenever I play this game. Okay. Hang on. Audio is resetting. Resetting again. I want to freaking add to play in the middle of the stream again. Okay. Leftovers activated. So now maybe we should just go Flare Blitz on Florgis. Hmm. Or should I switch? Hmm. Billion dollar question now. Do I Flare Blitz? Or do I not Flare Blitz? I could just U-turn on Mandibuzz to get send in the other rat. Wait, uh, U-turn would be neutral on you. <sighs> Damn it. Okay, let's go for it. And then... Hmm. Oh, Florgis is not park grass. You're right. It's pure fairy. I, uh, I always forget that. Everyone forgets that. Okay. Still, U-turn, I gotta hit it with something, right? To get out of there. Hmm. I could just spam Zing Zap on you and hopefully make you flinch. Mandibuzz sitting there paralyzed is probably the best case scenario while I focus on the other Mons. Let's try this. Do it. Uh-oh. Wait, I can nuzzle it too now? Why? I don't understand. Mandibuzz used Tailwind. Uh-oh. Okay. The terrain's gone? Oh, you're right. It was summoned through an attack, not uh, infinite like the other ones. How did I forget about that? The background is a similar color anyway. Okay, Toga tomorrow number one. You can nuzzle. Oh, sorry. Hang on. You can fake out. And now we can nuzzle everybody. Let's do it! Oh, it's summoned through an ability. Yeah, that's right. But stuff like that. Drought and uh, Drizzle stop being infinite. Oh, like in Gen 5, though, right? Wait, what? Oh, leftovers, right. You're not healing that. Okay, now this one can nuzzle you. And now we can zing zap you. It's baby rodent time! Look at these lads go! Can you believe it? Okay. Double rats. Oh, I totally forgot that Reflect was active. And there's that. Damn. We should get rid of the floor just first. Okay. Zing zap. Let's go. I never expected it to come down to me versus the champion with two rats. They haven't even landed a hit on me. Never mind. I shouldn't have said anything. Iron barbs, baby. Tailwind is gone. Last Pokemon? Is this it? Okay. Okay. This is the one that's taken damage. Maybe I should spiky shield this turn. There's a freaking fly going near my drink. Get out of here. Hmm. Or should I just go for the full freaking hit? Spiky shield. Oh, wait. Oh, right. Taunt. I, I can't even do that. Never mind. You're the one that's damaged, so it doesn't matter anyway. Boy, boy. I don't know. I never notice freaking flies unless I'm streaming. They just, like, show up in front of me because they want attention when I'm streaming, I swear. Okay, now we're gonna nuzzle you. Rage Powder, no! Fine, you want to be the center of attention? You'll be the center of attention. Let's do it. Okay, here comes foul play again, damn it. All right, rodent one is down. Iron Barbs hit you, though. Okay. Rat one is down. <sighs> I 
I could send in Dragonite and use Fly on the Amoongus now. That could also work. Hang on, did he have one more Pokemon or is Amoongus the last? I actually don't know. I'm panicking. I'm panicking. Was there one more? It's the last? Okay, Dragonite's probably safest then. We actually gonna do this. We just gotta do it like this, okay. Fly on you, don't need the Dragon Dance. And I'll spiky shield this turn, because it's probably going to go for foul play on somebody. Nice. Amoongus is faster than Dragonite while paralyzed, before the Tailwind was active. Are you serious? Okay, let's do it. How long does this frickin' powder last? Is the powder eternal? Rage powder's priority, yeah. It probably used rage powder again. Wait, does that only work for the turn, or what? Reset the music, please. Even though it sounds like it's resetting, don't worry, it's not. I have to manually do it. <laughs> oh, what? No! Had a bury. Oh! Returning that crit. Returning that crit. We did it. We did it. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. I actually beat this run. Unbelievable. I thought it was over like eight times. Supreme Moomin victory. Okay, there we go. Can't beat two rodents. One of those rodents is dead now, though, I'm afraid. Heck yeah. Stretch, victory stretch indeed, you're right. She was here too. The girl of the team helped. No! The ghost of the sister! <laughs> Remember, the fallen rodents. I will never trash talk uh, Toga tomorrow again. At least for the rest of the day, maybe. <laughs> hey, Serena did, like, use Power Whip to KO one thing, I think. I think. <laughs> oh, ain't that nice. Ain't that nice. We lost a real one today. Well, this was nice. Um, I kind of turned this on. Not sure if I'd get a, a victory today. Oh, boy. Alakazam did so well, and it died. What killed Alakazam again? I actually don't remember. Let's see. Apparently, Gen 7 made the Pika clone good. Stone Edge, that's right. Good luck on your future runs. Well, thank you. Nice. Right, right, it was Terrakion. It had Choice Scarf uh, Stone Edge, and it murdered my Alakazam. Oh, yeah, I'll probably put Zygarde in the thumbnail. Putting Legendaries in the thumbnail is good. Oop. Now it's going to reset. Oh, oh right, I survived the, the Stone Edge, too. Welcome back. You received some more starting money. About one-fifth of a Master Ball there. A double battle run complete. Two rare candies, two rare candies. Oh, nice. I'm mostly still clearing the regular quest, though, aren't I? And now, look, these lads are back to being little friends again. Oh, boy. Make a save. So I have been playing for five hours, huh? Probably a little less when I remove the breaks for YouTube. Um, this was a lot of fun. Again, I kind of had some rough nights of sleep, feeling ill, so I didn't want to play anything uh, too intense. Well, that required me to read a lot of dialogue, I should say. <laughs> but it's always nice when I play this or something like Purity Forest, and I get, like, a, a victory I can feel good about. The last stream of this game, it was fun, but like, man, when I lose at the end, I feel like I don't even want to upload it, right? But people wanted me to anyway. But it's nice. We did this now. Now we're pumped full of adrenaline and we feel good. Yeah. So I'm going to take it easy. I'm going to get some dinner. I got the gym early tomorrow morning, and I'll probably do a little stream again. See what I feel up for. If you're watching on YouTube, hope you enjoyed this little extra Emerald Rogue stream. Have a good night, and bye-bye.